let's dive into our session today and let's see what our adventure beholds. So last session, after the party had broken out of their confinement with the help of Kaylin, she led the group through the forest to find her friend, uh, Iwani, uh, and stopped her. And, you know, you guys moved past her relatively easy. The uh, party uh, traveled through the forest, pondering where to go next until Kaylin finally realized that she could talk to one of her great willow trees. So Kaylin Im immediately led the party to the great willow tree without telling when they arrived. They arrived at this beautiful quagmire with a gigantic willow tree in the middle of it. Um, afterwards, she immediately takes the entire, uh, takes uh, Talk Talk and Theo to the tree. Kaylin does her uh, normal ritual to talk to the tree and oddly enough, the tree did not answer um, right away. A moment of silence swept Kaylin until the tree finally responded by revealing who the tree really is. It is a dryad in the form of Gelvelin, Kaylin's mother. Her mother told her side of the story, how she, her side of the story, how she, how she had passed on, trying to save all of the greenhouse from killing themselves. She also passed on a bit of knowledge that she was destined to give birth to Kaylin. And so she asked the great tree to give her a uh, soul, um, to like put her soul into a tree and allow it to grow into such a magnificent tree so that one day her daughter can speak to her. Gelderlin told her that she had asked the great tree for seeds so that she can pass down, uh, pass out to all the tribe leaders so they no longer have to fight. She was successful, but in doing so, she has lost, she had passed on, she got killed. Her dying breath, she asked Amuhi to keep her necklace so that Kaylin may one day wear it after she had finished her Ikni Maye. Kaylin's interaction with the great tree startled the neighboring tribe. Without wanting to be caught, the entire party ran from the, from the pursuers. Finally, the party managed to hide their tracks from their pursuers, and after hours of searching outside the vale, Kaylin stumbled upon tracks that led to orcs. She followed them to find Iwani's father, Le Tunak, lying and propped up against a tree, dying. And in his dying breath, he told uh, Kaylin that he was sorry and that he had deceived the entire tribe and was tricked in the end. Kaylin was frustrated, trying to get more answer out of a dying elf. Until Tok Tok realized that this is a bit suspicious. The hunting mindset of a ravager is far beyond your guys' comprehension until now. Their ability to track and hunt their prey is phenomenal. Luckily, Tok Tok realized it fast enough to dive in, tackle Kaylin down to the ground to dodge a spray of poison darts. Finally, um, Theo. Uh, realizes it, turns around, and finishes the orc. After which, Kaelin, um, angered by this deception, tries to press forward to only find more footprints, elvish footprints. She follows those elvish footprints uh, further southeast. Um, not long after, she discovered another elf named Mukano. He's part of the Kano tribe, with long, deep red hair, mohawk hair. He explained to the uh, party that, or actually to Kaelin, that he is also looking for his tribe totem. And some of his words hit Kaelin, revealing to her that his father also has a long, deep love for Gildalyn, her mother and explained to her that it was Amun He that threw the spear that killed Galilith and also killed her twin sister. Uh, after which, um, the, uh, the druids of the tribes uh, named Galdalyn the Chosen One because she was about to give birth to twins when the two moons are at the highest. After hearing all of that, Kaylin was lost in thought. Before she could respond to these revelations, Mukano left. With the party, um, left the party to continue their journey. 
And so they did. With all of this revelations and um, st stories, Kaylin tries to put it past and you know calm it down so that she can continue her mission. It's to find that totem. She led the party. She uh, backtrack and lead the party east to find the orc encampment. Three orcs lying about without a care in the world. You see two of them boiling over a hot pot uh, of fire and one of them leaning back by its tent, sharpening its tools and uh, looks like they have no idea you are here. Kaylin, right next to you, beside you is Talk Talk and behind you guys is Arch and Binks, which Binks covering the rear. What would you guys like to do? That is a good question. Everybody sees them, or is it just yeah. everybody sees it? Everybody okay, sees okay. it. Michaela is kind of leading the, the the front, and because of you guys for all the group stuff, uh, they don't notice. Hey. Okay. Um. Well, uh, these two uh, these two orcs right here are minding their own business, um, and uh just kind of doing over this pot right here in the middle, while this one right here sharpening his weapon. These two orcs don't seem to have their weapons in hand, although it looks like it, but they don't. Um, their weapons is like right next to them um, on this tree something right here. Okay. Hmm. These tents are crudely made with uh, bones, uh, long animal bones and such, uh, and hides stitched together. Uh, to make this tent. These tents. Um, well, Kaylin will hold, like, her hand, like, up in a fist to get everybody to stop. And, uh, she'll scout, or she'll look and see if she can see it. So she can only see those three. Uh, yes. for now. For now. See those yeah. Um, question, Dean. Mm -hmm. Can I... I can tell I'm, I've never played a ranger before, so... Or I've never. Can I ask the tree if there's any more orcs? Like how many you more orcs? Commercial. Most certainly try. Yeah. I would. I would like to try and ask the tree that we are standing next to if if they know how many orcs there are. Yeah. Um. You actually find this uh, uh beautiful uh sycamore tree and it's large, um, with various branches sticking about. You press your hand against it. This uh, ground break brown gray uh um bark and you close your eyes and everyone you can feel a gentle breeze blowing and you hear the sound of kaylin whispering in elvish and what do you say um probably something along the lines of um oh dear friend do you happen to know how many orcs are at that encampment You open your eyes and in in, in, in in revelation of how many orcs in this encampment. And the trees exclaim to you that they've only seen three. One has slain its friend. Oh. Oh, snap. Okay. They went inside. Okay. Um, she will look like kind of over her shoulder at the rest of the party. Um, and uh, say, Tree says there's only uh, three orcs that Tree has seen. Uh, mm. Now go to the tree. You arrive at the tree. <laughs> no, no, just look to the tree. Oh, and okay. Head off to her, and so he's just staring at. Do you want us to take care of the Ravagers? Or should we try to sneak in? Pro probably in their tent, right? Uh, Kaylin will, like, kind of, like, nod in almost agreeance, but, like, kind of, like, it's like a nod shrug. Um, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Um, 
do the do the trees um you know when you talk to them can they sense the artifact um I, 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 I do not know um, but if we take out uh, the orcs we can um look around okay arch looks at you guys and says i'm not taking care of those things fishes creatures are you guys go and do it after all you guys are <clears throat> you know my hands no hey, wait, wait, any- what, just go in and do it i just handle everything here you Watch. are not much of leader are you Oh, I am leader. Leaders tell people hey, what to do. Hey, hey, keep it down. We'll go. Okay. Just okay. Know, stay with our good friend. I'll pop the tree trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Protect him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got to check you and your tree loving friend here. <clears throat> Hello, tree. Or do you name him? Kaylin's like <laughs> visibly scowling at him, like not hiding it. Just <laughs> hate this guy so much. <laughs> Just remember, we got rid of the angsty, sexy elf for these. <laughs> oh, regret. You are regret. Drunk. <laughs> well, I didn't choose to bring these fuckers along. I, they, yeah, they, <laughs> they were here yeah. already. <laughs> um, you hear him just grab Bing's by the. You just hear like a loud slap as he's like slapped the side of Bing's head and grab onto his ears and just you go in there too okay boss yeah yeah whatever you say do we do we really need beans <laughs> i mean i think we should bring him meat shield <laughs> okay we'll try to stop i guess is what yeah we're doing. um so this map is yours to move you guys tell me how you guys want to go about moving and we'll see what you guys can do um the world is your always oh my god so many options <laughs> what uh, hey, Alan, you you fight from far right mm-hmm. oh, by the way these trees are quite high um uh they're they're really uh tall sycamore trees um okay. so uh they range from i believe uh these like 20 feet high uh, to a little bit higher so okay uh, you can hide amongst them because they have various branches outreaching and covered by foliage of leaves like uh, abundance of leaves okay uh i'll tell kaylin i'm like you use bow and i'll go distract with the others you protect us from above she'll like think about it um uh I could, um, or behind. Okay. All right. So, I'll, I'll motion to her that I'm gonna be going, like, trying to sneak to this tree. Okay. And then, if I don't get caught by that point, I'm gonna, um, bomb rush them. Bomb rush them? Okay. Well. I guess she's going that way. Um. Yeah. Um. I'm. We're gonna say that. Oh uh, yeah. I'm torn between hopping up in this tree and getting them, or going um, from this angle. I do want to know. Do you, what kind of bow do you have? Do you have a long bow or a short bow? Long bow. Okay. Yeah. So you'll just stay in this tree, and then we'll go over here and as we can sneak on them. Yeah. I think that's the play. Because I think if I'm reading correctly, and I can hit all of them from the tree, I think. Yeah, you you can hit the one. <laughs> yeah, I'm learning how to use a bow. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, can I have so, talk talk? I'm like talk talk. How do you how do you fight? Talk's gonna stop looking at the tree, <laughs> very closely. <laughs> And then look up at you and just be like, ah, talk, talk, use this. He's going to hold up his weird, elongated, uh, slingshot-looking thing. 
with the extra little coils, and that's what he uses to cast Firebolt. Doc Doc attack for range, too. Okay. Uh, maybe you stop with me to that tree and stay by the tree while I go in and uh, attack the woods. With Binks, okay. right? And I pop Binks back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't say. Okay, so we're gonna do that. He pulls out his uh di- his short sword and just... <laughs> <laughs> it's like in his boots and he's like about to scream as if yeah, he's about like, to like hey, break the fight. If you stand next to me, I can keep you safe. I've got this shield here. I'll protect you. No, it's his head. Insurance. Let's make sure you're within five feet. Alright. So Kaylin, um you can simply just climb up this tree. <laughs> Boom! I'd love uh, to. You can hop on this side of the branch tree and hide. Roll a stealth check for me. Well, now, this is to determine how well you hide, not necessarily uh, stepping on the tree. Oh, that was really scary. Uh, let me do math. It almost rolled not a good one, but we rolled an okay one, boys. <laughs> uh, I got a, a unnatural twenty. Unnatural twenty. Oh yeah, you're extremely stealthy. Oh, you you actually roll with advantage because you you are you're technically in uh oh. you have uh you know uh, green out uh you're you're by trees and stuff like that so you technically get mass of the wild so um you roll with advantage but it doesn't matter but she could crit crit fish okay uh, go ahead roll. i i rolled a 22. all right 22. I'm okay let's, I'm, I'm just gonna i'm just gonna they they have don't even have enough Okay. Now, Theo and Talk Talk, you guys are. Um, what do you Thanks. want? Um, oh, did I not give you guys permission to control your thing? Of course I did not, because that's not just a bad thing. I did everything else except that. You should be able to do it now. Talk Talk. Yeah. Oh, again. Okay. Perfect. You too, Kaylin. Yay! Right. Get your butt. Over All right. Here. Um, would you, is it <laughs> Talk Talk would be hiding, or would Talk Talk be hiding somewhere else? Uh, no. Well, Theo, he wanted Talk Talk to follow. Oh. A single to be from range, so Talk Talk would hot, try and you know crash down and hide and follow, and hide behind the tree. Although, if, unless he wants to roll for anything, as soon as he gets there, he does want to. Ask to do something. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. So, with that being said, I want you guys to roll a stealth check. Uh, <laughs> we'll see if you get asked. Yeah, I'll see if I can ask anything. Uh, to get here, and Binks will roll one as well. Oh, oh no! <laughs> we fucking suck, bro. I hate you have to roll. Wearing armor. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, is this with advantage or disadvantage? Uh, for you, just straight up roll. <laughs> Unless you're wearing armor. I mean, that little weird studded leather tape stuff, so no. No. Studded Not to mention he's short and he hides behind his legs. <laughs> but I got... Yeah, what's my stealth thing? Plus one, so I got 17. Ooh. Okay. okay. 11. 11. That's with a minus one, yeah. <laughs> right. Proud of you. So, these corks have a chance. <laughs> to uh, catch up to you to, to see if they see anything. So they're going to roll. Pay attention to your food. Oh, no. <laughs> Pay attention to your food. Wow, that's really good. Oh. 11. 11. Pay attention to your food. Pay attention to your food. It's yeah, they're, they're your looking at your food. Oh. <laughs> you are so lucky. You barely made it. Oh. <laughs> you get to up to this part of the tree and things to the Oh my god. Just had like a stroke. <laughs> I, was, I was ready. I was I, I had your back. I was Give ready. Me another stealth check this time to oh. hide in the tree. Oh. oh, for uh all of us? <laughs> yeah, yeah, except for Kaylin because Yeah, she already did. Yeah. Now Kaylin. <laughs> That's that nice nat twenty is useful. <laughs> Oh no! I'm good once I get to the tree. This is for Binks. Oh, oh my God. God. What? No, no. Oh, no. Okay. 
Okay. You didn't let her kill him. Hey, I rolled a nat 20. So what'd you roll? But disadvantage, so it's a 16. 16? Oh, okay, talk to me. Uh, just another stealth roll, right? Yeah. Uh, I got a 9. <laughs> uh, I, I to ask a question. So you guys arrive over to oh, this no. tree. Um, talk, talk. What do you want to say to Thea? You guys have so sna- so, 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 You guys felt like you guys did a good job. You guys oh. snuck behind the sycamore tree and hide behind it. It's large uh, uh, trunk and base of this tree is large enough to hide Theo, and luckily you're small, so you can just hide it under Theo, and you're totally fine. Yay! All right, so Talk Talk's gonna kind of like open up his little cube of old, and then just kind of whisper, "Theo, Talk Talk, have this." And he's gonna pull out a weird like little, you know those little kids' toys? You know, you squeeze the handle, like the hand opens and closes, kind of thing. Yeah. He's got a weird skinny version of that that kind of pulls out. It's like I can make a distraction. You want a distraction? Oh, this is technically what he can use to make ask Mage Hand. Uh, that'd be helpful. Like, could you get them looking the other way? If I can pick something up and drop it. Huh? Maybe you could even lure one over here. Like, use it to grab something of theirs and lead it over and we take them out behind the tree. Oh, you want something closer? And as you say that, talk, talk. <laughs> oh, looks like we might not have been as hidden as we thought. That was a good idea. Binks. Let me go. Oh, magic! Woo! He falls down to the ground. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can I, like. They're gonna roll to kind of spot you. I do like the sexy thing where I push Binks against the tree. Okay, okay. Yells to Binks. Okay, if you, if you can roll high enough. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> athletics. Um, I'm gonna get real close and press all the Binks right now. You can roll high enough athletics and a stealth to. Oh um, god. To Two kind of, rolls. To to make them roll at straight up roll. Because they're gonna roll. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Athletics was the first one? Mm-hmm. That's for grabbing beats. Twenty-one. Okay, okay. you grab him. Cabadon him. Okay, you cabad on him. <laughs> See how quietly you can cabad on him. At disadvantage. Okay, first one good. Second one, okay. 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 Alright. Thirteen. Okay, thirteen is uh just high enough. You Ooh. literally cabin on violently onto this tree. New York's through roll. Straight up. Cabin on the tree. They all nice. Oh. Down. Bitch. You don't beat my thirteen. This orc stands up <laughs> and he oh. stopped sharpening. Oh. He goes, Darn you. All right. <clears throat> These two continues to cook while this one is making its way towards the sound. I have no idea what he said in work, so you know. I'm gonna be on alert. I'm gonna tell Beast. Does yeah. any of you guys speak work, right? Nope. Nope. Okay. Goblin, but not orc. Um Can I hold an attack? <laughs> yeah, oh uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, I, can I hold it until he gets like right here, like right in my line of sight? Just get a nice little like like Okay, yeah, all right, yeah. You know what if, I'm saying? Right. Because then if he goes here, it would be out of your line of sight. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't want him to go behind the tree, but... Hey. If I shoot right. at him. He's slowly making his way, and giving you two time to react. What do you guys want to do? Uh, I'm gonna... Hmm. Talk, talk. Yeah, what do you Does talk? it look like the other two are coming at all? No, no, they're... They're just chilling, chilling right? And- so I'm just gonna kind of put down this little grabbing claw thing and just be like, ah, maybe you don't need this. Yeah, I, I think this works. Um, can I, can I motion at, at Kaylin to like hold off for a hot second? Oh, Kaylin can't see you. I was gonna say. Ah! Okay, well, okay. Uh, I'm gonna take out that nice little wait, blow dart. Wait, let me see. Yeah, you're obstructed by the. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Um, Actually, you could try to make yourself physical to Kaylin. Uh, my plan is to like motion to Kaylin, like, like you know, like uh, grab slit. Okay. Like, so she might, she might get them like 
Maybe I could just grab him and kill him without them noticing. All right. So, because I'd rather take on two orcs. Normally, I would I would allow this, but since you guys are like new group, uh, new, kind of relatively new, and the thing is, um, although you bonded close enough, I'll say that um, you you succeed on your yeah on your sim uh, signaling. But let's see if Kaylin understands the signal. I was gonna say I don't know if she she'd be like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> um. So go ahead, uh, Kaylin. Just roll me a insight check. If you're proficient, roll with advantage. If not, you roll at disadvantage. I rolled a natural twenty. That is so sad. And then I rolled a fucking. Oh no. Would you roll? Let me do math. Math is hard. A twelve. Wow. Um. Well. Even with the 12, you managed to understand what he's trying to say. A bit it was odd, you, you're having a hard time, because you're like, why can't he just talk to me through the wind or whistle? Like, like you, we <laughs> elvins do. This, this <laughs> guy, this guy, man. Uh, this guy, like, he doesn't understand. Um, no, seriously, no. Um, you're trying to comprehend uh, the human way of signaling, and you managed to figure it out uh, that Theo is going to try to stealth kill this orc. Um, if that's the case, can I aim my bow at this? Oh, you can't see. At this guy? Uh, yeah. And hold my action for if he starts to move towards them? Sure. Well, nice. Yeah. This would be real sexy if it works. <laughs> Ooh. Uh -huh. It's getting hot. I would have uh, one of the, the poison darts to uh -huh. talk talk and be like, uh, you could use this to stab into him when we grab him and slash him. It's quieter, you know? Oh, okay. We'll take... Dark. Poison dark. Poison dark. Uh, right. You have a mechanism to shoot it from, so you don't need a blow, uh, blow gun. Thank uh, God for coming Oh, from I can use my sling thing? Yeah. That works so much better, because, you know, I was going to be rolling it out. A little disadvantage trying to do a physical attack on something. <laughs> <laughs> so when he gets starts to get this way, can we like move around the tree so he doesn't see us? But uh, I asked Talk Talk to do his like mage hand on the the tree over here to like make a noise so that we're full come. No, this tree, the one we're at. Uh -huh. Like use a mage hand to make like something shift so uh -huh. the guy will like be like. Eh? Like, uh, like Assassin's Creed style, where you like whistle in the hay barrel, and then they come like looking over for you, like that. And then you drag them into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, that's weird, and come over to that tree. I do. All right, talk. Uh, make a deception check. All right. Are you proficient? Of course not. It's <laughs> <laughs> not sneaky. He's an inventor. Uh, so, um, because you're using Mei Chan to help you alleviate the disadvantage, go ahead and roll me a straight up roll. Okay. 11, 12. 12. Maybe the orcs are dumb. <laughs> I mean, we're at the tree. Good to talk about just shaking. Oh. Oh, uh, oh. These are big. No, the, this tree is extremely. Uh, Mage Hand cannot. It's not strong enough to shake the tree. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this tree is way too big. Well, you know, uh, a little rocks and stuff. All right. Is that. Huh? Yeah, so when he gets close enough, I want to grab sword, like pull him behind the tree with us, and then everyone go. And get him, okay, you know. make an athletics with advantage as he gets to over here. With advantage, mm -hmm. crit fish. Wow. Okay, well, we believe in you. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Well, that doesn't make sense. I can't. I'm not wrong. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you definitely grab, you jump out from behind the tree. Binks is so excited, he's like, yeah, 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 and he just for forgot the plan. Oh, okay. And immediately tries to stab this orc. Okay, well, you know, that was the plan. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to stab his off. Okay, you see this orc is being um, restrained. restrained and covered. Um, he has no safe, he did not see it coming. Talk, talk, what do you want to do? Uh... I mean, can I fire the darts in close proximity like this? Just uh, like stab it into him. You could just roll back right here and just stab it into him. Or shoot it like. Okay. So yeah, then 
Oh. Okay, go ahead. No. I was gonna say, are we gonna waste this dart if it's Yeah, you don't have to. I'm just saying, uh, if Binks and I don't kill him, then you stop. <laughs> yeah, can I hold my action to see if it dies? And then shoot? I'll have it ready, though. Ready, though. Um, okay, uh, so Binks uh, rolled high enough to hit him. And grabs him for. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. He tried. I mean, it's something, you know? You gotta get these ones out um, of the way. Alright, Theo, you. Do you, what weapon are you gonna hit him with? I have a long sword and a hand axe. Uh, I don't know what a hand axe is. You would have to use the hand axe because it's smaller than the Okay, hand axe. so what do I use for the hand axe? Which which one? One? No, what, what is it? I just hit A d6. I definitely hit. It's a natural. Like, okay, yeah, that hits. Just, just a little bit. Uh, six damage. Six damage? Yeah. In total? In total. Oh, this orc is still up. Yeah. All right, then Doc Ross got up. All right, talk, talk, roll the hit. Ooh, 18. 18 uh, hits. Perfect. Now, what does this part do again? Oh. Um, you, it's a D4, uh, DC 12. Uh, and it yet has the- uh, 4D6 plus 1D4. Yeah. I rolled two on the first D4. So that's how much the dart does. And then what was it? 2d4, you said? 4d6. Oh, 4d6. God damn. I know. I'm so <laughs> glad it didn't hit us. I'm so glad it didn't hit me. Yeah, really. <laughs> All right, so the poison does. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, you see the poison taking over its body. And it starts shaking. <laughs> And as you see, the poison liquid foaming in his mouth and, and through your hands. So the cracks of your hands, all your gauntlets, I should say. And uh, the orc, after like a couple seconds, finally Silent. silently dies. That's his nice. muscles back. Yay! Feels good. Mm-hmm. I, qui- I quietly lay him down on the ground. I'm going to look to see, does he have any poison darts on him? Uh, Yeah, you can look on him. <laughs> um, he has a couple. Just keep taking it. I- I knew it. I was like, I'm willing to use this because they probably have more. <laughs> <laughs> um, aside from uh, his great axe, and um, it, he doesn't have his packs. His things are back in his tent, so he just has his weapon with him and his uh, uh, his darts. Okay. Um. Bings is like, yeah, 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 boss. I did it. Yeah. Whew, that was so good, boss. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in. Hey, hey, hey. He rushes <laughs> in and he goes, ah. Oh no. He wouldn't suck. No, I'm not sure. I run with him. Yeah, you guys. Because I'm like, can I shoot my arrow now? <laughs> <laughs> Roll a hit. <clears throat> with advantage. Thank goodness. Oh, let's, let me do the math. Math is hard. You guys technically get a surprise round, so this is your surprise round. Uh, 17 to hit. 17 does hit, yeah. Go for Danny. Can I find my D8? Hold on, dice are hard. That is 7 damage. 7 damage. This orc is still up as it gets hit. He's like... (laughs) He has no weapons on him as Binks run in and tries to hit him with his short sword and hits. Proud of him. Another one. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. Hey! Oh, oh, Doubt him. Or, uh, with his stab, uh, giving uh, the sword. Uh, no, Binks, I need you to die. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that already's down. Theo, you have a chance to see this orc just got two shotted. Uh, what do you do? Yeah, I run to the next orc. Okay. And slash at him. Okay. It's good. <laughs> Natural 20! All oh, that hits! Oh, <laughs> yes. Feels so good! Cool. 
16 damage. That is enough to one oh, shot. Oh god. It. Six. <laughs> you die. You just you just put away your hand axe and you charge in with your longsword like a uh, a person with a bull rushing longsword would do. Chuck him with your shoulder and just stab it the sword all the way in without it can even do anything. Fine landing on its on its back. You pull the blade out and you look at the battle. It's over. We are so great. I'll, I'll motion to uh to Arch to come on over and chill. I Oh, is it safe? I give him like a thumbs up. He trying to keep slowly. down the voice. Oh, he's like loud and proud. I know. God damn it. I mean, so I alert mean. everyone. Kaylin, you can't get out of the tree. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to come over. Okay. Over here. Hey. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel one. <laughs> Ooh, I like the way you kill those orcs, BB. <laughs> uh, I'll be like Are you sure that's only three? That is all Dream do. Okay. I'm gonna go over to the orc bodies and look for more poison birds. Uh, uh while Theo is looting, uh uh Kaylin's gonna watch him and be like, You very impressive fighter. <laughs> Thanks, I, I'm, I've been practicing a while. It shows. And your, um, uh, your arrow, it struck true. It's not many people I've seen use an arrow like that. Mm -hmm. Just gonna turn her attention back to the other two and watch them with disgust. Uh, <laughs> you see Arch just like, like kind of like teabagging. Ew! Oh my yeah. god! Oh god! He's just having fun. He's like kicking. He's like, hey, hey, you think you can beat me? Oh god! Yeah. Man child. Binks is like staring off at a distance, scratching his neck. I mean, he, he did pretty good that day. Yeah. Well, anyway, you really wish you didn't look at them. Yeah. So you look over at Talk Talk instead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I regret looking at them. Like. I'm just staring up at the tree. Hello? Hello? Oh my god. Why are you all my ammo crossing <laughs> Alright. Uh, you you do loot and you find uh, uh, two more people. Nice! <laughs> four, I should say four. Oh! <laughs> Feels good. Feels good. Can they get some use out of that? These are real nice. So, that being said, uh, what would else would you guys like to do? Um, uh, well, I mean, I want to look in their tents and stuff and see if they have my totem <laughs> mission accomplished yet. <laughs> yeah, you go inside these tents and you find um, animal hides and skin laid as a bed, lay down as beds. Um, you find various uh, bodies. Of um, the, you know, elves and oh. humans alike. Um, yep. Inside the tents. Uh, inside the tents, but they're all um. Okay. No, they're all chopped up. Uh, oh. Looks like uh oh. they've been eaten. No. So like that. Yeah. Me These ravagers are cannibals for the most part. Um, you see a couple of goblins chain. Um. Uh, in the backside, uh, okay. looks like they're the servants of the orcs. Uh, you see, you guys each see two in each tent, and they're like cleaning up the body parts when they notice you. What do they do? They do they do they do they do <laughs> yeah. Uh, these uh, these goblins are ferocious. Uh, they have the same size head as a, a human would. Um, they tend to have longer ears. They're their uh, skin is pretty porous, and they have like this dark green hue to it. And their teeth are extremely sharp and pointy. Um, they have chains tied around their neck, and they just look at you. Tinder. Yeah, I'm gonna kill them. 
I was gonna say, I'm gonna put them out of their misery. <laughs> Releasing them, and I'm gonna release them from chains through death. So. Yep. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, these goblins will try to fight back, though. Okay. Um, they're ferocious. Yeah. Um, they will come in and attack you uh, ferociously, uh, Theo, as you approach it. Um, My soul. It will try to attack. It fucking misses me. It rolled a six. Yay. Yes. All right. Excuse me. It, yeah. Um, it rolled sixteen miss. It misses me. Yeah. yeah no, that's I'm, that's that's what I'm impressed about. Oh. <laughs> Uh, this one is at you, Caleb, with a 16. That hits me. Double oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, it attacks you with its claws and a bite. Uh, it's you're going to take... Oh, shit. Oh, God. Uh, oof, six damage. Ow. Oof. Jesus, it's like it, a bit of chunk out of you. Yeah, it's, you see it's gnawing on your uh, leg. Oh. I like to curse loudly in Elvish. <laughs> As you curse loudly in Elvish, luckily your armor protects you from most of the puncture wounds of its gnaw, uh, maw. But what would you like to do, Kaylin? Now it's your turn. Um, well, if he's close enough, if he's like on me, I guess I'll pull out my short sword and give him a nice stab. All right, uh, roll a hit. That's a natural one. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. oh, nice. <laughs> betrayed us. Uh, it was the Kraken dice, dude. Well, normally, uh, uh, normally, I'm just letting you know uh, for future references. It doesn't matter in this scenario, but I'm letting okay. you know. For future references. Uh, since you have a longbow, it takes it does take you on uh, action to put it away. Okay. Uh, and you can't wield a longbow and a sword in both hands because yeah, the longbow is quite heavy and it's quite. Cumber- and cumbersome to move around mm-hmm. so um in f- that's why uh, i would give short bows if you would have a short bow i'd be like okay that makes sense that's fine mm-hmm. um but i'm just gonna assume that you put your bow on behind your back and yeah. you're going out your sword and as you stab you miss roll g20 to see how badly you do that's a 15 okay oh. roll d100 for me oh god Roll those dice. I'm gonna try. I don't that. uh, that's a thirty. Ooh. Okay. Um, the uh, the sharp stone um short sword that you have uh, is um. God. You're not. you How do I say it? this? This pain uh, kind of ruined your focus as you. Stab downward and slightly miss because it's so scr- this this creature is scrampy, uh, and uh, you hit its uh, um, chains on around its neck and you accidentally broke it. Oh uh, God! So broke now this chain? yeah. Okay. Now this goblin is free and its other friend is looking at it. Are they chained to like the floor or something? Uh, they're chained to the floor. Yes. Oh. It's only a gift. When I hear her scream, can I fucking leave to go towards her? Uh, okay, yeah, I'll go get a tech about That's fine. Never knock off so bad. No. 15. No. Okay, I mean. Uh, alright. Um, I would say it would be Theo's. No, Theo, you already attacked. So, yeah, it'd be Talk Talk. Talk Talk, you would hear this whole thing. I did not attack him yet. Maybe nope, you leave him first. Oh, okay, yeah. You just described okay. I saw them. You run in. Uh, I was about to, though, but then I hear her scream. Mm-hmm. You run in. And I'm going to see the goblin over her mm-hmm. and just grab my sword and be like, bat, man. Bat it? Okay, bat. roll hit. Okay. That is 19. 19. I'm a fighter for a reason. I can do stuff. Yeah. I'm impressed. Uh, 11. Damage? Oh my god, yeah, you just one-shot this goblin. Just... <laughs> I can't do anything else but hit shit. Um, <laughs> Don't right. take this away from me. It, you, it fly out of the tent, and you see the tent, uh, kind of, it kind of hits the tent and the tent move a bit. Talk, talk. That's all you see. Uh, Arch is like, what the? He's taking a step back. Of course he is. Well, guess tree lover is uh, getting some love in there. Oh. Oh. 
Oh boy. Uh. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, can you hear being still? Ooh. What's that mean, boss? Uh, um. It's actually his. No, he just. Uh -oh. Um. Talk, talk. It is now your turn. Hooray! This is all going on. Well, how could Talk Talk respond? So, Talk Talk Beings appears a little bit of speed. Mm -hmm. uh, he was only running over into the tent. More commotion. So, Talk Talk is going to quickly jump over to the door and look in. Yeah, you see a goblin in chains in the backside of this tent, trying to chuck one of the human uh, parts at Theo and Kaelin. Kaelin has a dead goblin right beside her foot. Talker's gonna look at both of them. Oh, what's going on? But then he's gonna look at the goblin and go, What's going on in goblin? Master gave me dinner. Give me dinner. Yes. Yes. We will eat tonight. It's gonna be great. Eat tonight. Wait, which one dinner? He's gonna point at the dead goblin. That one? Two, two human and an elf, yummy. Oh, those two. No, 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 they stingy. <laughs> you don't understand me. I know. <laughs> Someone <laughs> yeah. Um. What do you. What do you say again? True. They stringy. Oh, oh they're stringy. Yeah. I haven't eaten days. We're gonna enjoy them. He licks his teeth. Talk Talk got food for you. Hang on. Talk's gonna look at the other two and be like, Ah, uh, can you drag one of them in? And point to the dead orcs. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll look at Theo. <laughs> He's completely confused with the whole situation. He's just talking to the goblin. You, you feed them. You keep them. What? Uh huh. Give them food. Yeah, hungry. I think. I don't. Why? We should just kill them. Why? Don't they know where stuff is? Talk to look at you. Do they? Uh, talk to just asking. Ask. You can talk to them. Okay. Uh, uh can I been three years thinking he was a goblin. Can I, uh, I'll hook Kaylin up. Oh, Kaylin's already up. She's okay. Up. Okay. Um, I guess I'll go drag in the dead orc. That's yeah. right up. You drag in this heavy body. Yeah. Um, as you did, you toss it to the backside. And what do you say? I, I very hesitantly throw it in the back. Like, <laughs> what the? <laughs> like, is it gonna actually eat it? I don't know. Talcock's gonna point at the dead orc. They're like, better food. Yeah. You see it just start gnawing on his flesh. It just looks horrified. Just ripping the orc skin in pots and just eating. Mm. I'll go kind of over the gag face for that as well. Okay. Uh, talk, talk, why? Oh, right. He was hungry. Yeah, but... I guess, could you see if they actually know anything else? I just am going to kill them. Ah. Uh... Ah, uh, sure. Falco's gonna kind of clap his hands. Not really sure if I can get the feral goblin's attention too much while he's eating because he's starved. But be like, ah, we have, in fact, two other things of food if you answer questions. But no food after this. If not be left here to starve. What do you want to know? Huh? Where you all come from? Before you arrived here. He, he kind of looks confused at that question. As if his entire life has always been here. Always, always lived in the tent. Or maybe lived in the tent. Yeah. Yeah, they only live like three years in this. <laughs> Oof. Those poor goblins. <laughs> it never touched grass, yo. I know. <laughs> Oh, I want to stay with him. He's still a little bit longer because they're oh. more, they're more, they're a lot stronger. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, okay. But still, you know, it's, it's a sad life being chained to a tent. So, the uh, talk of cool we're thinking. Uh, oh, 
Have you heard anything from dead body? Pointing at dead body. And others? Pointing outside where he can Yes, what do you want to know? Ah. They ever mention anything about totem, artifact, relic, magic? Down, she might have heard. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Boy, I don't. Who has your artifacts? Master wants it. So they can create. Big box. Strong Talker's gonna pause. Did he say big box or big ox? Ox. Ox. Oh. In the cave. Watch out, though. The mistress might find you tasty. Uh, 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 hang on. And then he's gonna start bouncing up and down, up and down, up and down while he speaks the entire thing. And in common, once again, stating, uh, he mentioned they were to an artifact, he points to dead orc, uh, because Mistress wants to make stronger. Ooh. Oh, wait, no. Mistress might think we're tasty. That was a word. Boss? Boss might be something different. Boss wants to make orc stronger. So, totems being taken to make orc strong. Hero pose, you know, flexing his arms. Mm-hmm. And then Mistress may want to eat us. And then he's going to do his little hands in like a chomping motion. I didn't know goblins were so smart. Ah, he just listened. There's all life in here. I don't think he has much to do. Maybe very entertaining to listen to other things. Yeah. And as you say that, he finally just cracked the, one of the bones of his, uh, the fingers and just eat it Ugh. like a chicken wing. Oof. Disgusting. Okay, um... Which is more than we do, so at least now we know why they want it. What else should I ask him? Where? Uh, I guess the cave, right? The cave, okay. right? Us. It sounds like they haven't been in it, so... I mean, it's up to you, Talk Talk. What do you want to do with them? Uh, Talk Talk. See? And he's gonna go back to talking goblin. <laughs> and then points... Because, yeah, that is a cave, like, next to us, right? Right. Yeah. He's gonna be kind of point in that direction. Hopefully, he knows something about it. Like, Mistress in there? Yes. 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 How many? Yes, one. How many orcs? Plenty of orcs. Oh. I don't know if they ever mentioned having artifact or just looking for artifact. Here, stupid elf think that he ox. He points at the body that he just ate. Uh, an elf in the body, and you see another body. Ooh. Believes that totem. We would reward him. <laughs> we killed them. They gave us totem. Okay. Now, in order to get. The other two bodies, so you could eat like a king. Yeah. Is yeah. There anything in there they mentioned that may hurt us? Besides them, of course, because we know they're gonna try and hurt us. But any traps or anything that may pop out or maybe stab us when we're not looking? Anything you heard? Gotta be good. If it's not good, no food. Quiet. We fix. All strings from water. It makes them good. It makes them real good. It, it, it cures their wounds. Oh, that's cool. Water. Yeah, right. talk about. You just hear him mumbling and goblin back and forth, back and forth in his eyes, just in like a wide open at that one. What? What? What did you think of? Ah. Uh, wow. Ah. Uh, this one say that there might be something in there that's the orc strength that make them feel better, feel good. Oh, magic water. Talk Talk could use so much magic water. Oh, well, wait. That means they can use it, too. Ah, uh, we may need to be careful now. Could you ask 
um, more about this master and mistress. Are they elves that be betrayed, or are they maybe something, something different? different? Uh-huh. What do they do besides think of us as tasty? I'm just going to brush himself off and look presentable again, and then speak in goblin. Uh, so, possibly last question. Boss, is Boss like them? And what to be orchids eating? No, Boss is not like them. But boss is big and strong. Stronger than them. Uh-oh. Not orc? Not green skin? No. No. <laughs> you know what he is? Or what he looks like? Or just big, strong, tall version of that. And then again, the uh, orc. You, 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 your, your intelligence is far beyond. <laughs> goblin? Yeah, goblin at this point. Describe goblin. What do you look like? Uh, yeah! Draw me a picture in the dirt. Um, it's it just so confused, he says. No, not like them. Jelly different. Stronger, bigger, hairier. Hairier? Oh. Walks around with smaller bus, but smarter. Okay. Hmm. What about Mistress? She same thing? No, Mistress has many legs. Oh no. Mm. Uh, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, yeah. I've suddenly got some ideas of what we're up against. <laughs> I no clue uh, what I'm scared. <laughs> but that's a lot of character because Tacock would just be like, hmm, many legs. Or with many legs. Mm. Okay. So Oh, which one bigger? Mistress or boss? <laughs> oh, that's pretty big. Okay, good enough. And then Doc Hawk will relay that. Ah, so apparently Boss is big, but not Orc, and Harry, but big, stronger. Ah, but Mistress, also big, but not sure if bigger, bigger. Ah, but have many legs. Many legs? What does that mean? Like spider? Could be. I mean, even if not have many legs, lots of things have many legs. If it's a spider, maybe that's why all these orcs have poison darts. Could be. Oh, that makes sense. Any living cave. I I think that might be all we'd be able to get out of them. Okay. You can kill him now if you want. Doc was go skipping off the tree. Da, 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 da. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go kill the other ones first. I'll let him finish his last good meal. <laughs> his last meal. What a, what a <laughs> nice guy. Yeah, you know. Just yes. out. Fuck out of it. <laughs> I kill them. Yeah. Easy enough. You can put about this one. Okay. Nice. Thank you. It's um, chained up. You, oh, Caitlin, you can also clearly draw this one if you wanted to. I'll let Theo do it. Uh, I would like to. Uh, I, I, I got an ouchie. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know. Where did he bite me? Was it? Oh, just your right, your right leg. My leg. No. Okay. Not your thigh. It's where your shin guard is. For the okay. Most part. So he, there's no like visible like blood. Just a uh, just a tiny puncture wound on the on where your calf is. Huh. Well, she'll sit down by their food and uh, just try and clean that up. You, oh, you know that your uh, uh, brace, uh, your greaves are uh, have puncture wounds in it, but other than that, you're fine. Do I, as I'm going and killing them, do I see her like stay down? Yeah, like a couple of minutes later, uh, you walk out and you see her kind of like sit down. Talk talk still looking at his tree and these two are bickering at each other. 
while you find some moment talking to Kaylin before you guys enter the cave. Um, I'll, I'll see her like messing with her leg and like, hey, are you okay? Did it, did it bite you? And I'll like try to inspect, like see if there's like any like disease that goblin spread. <laughs> oh. Goblin disease. Like, I'll go yeah. like touch her leg, and then I'm like, I stop, and I'm like, "Is it okay? Can I? I can cure you." Uh oh. It 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 is okay, but it it hurts a little. So I'll uh like remove the the brace and like kind of clean up the wound. Uh, like I'll pull out my healer's pack. Yeah. Um, just like clean it up, and then um. Wrap it up with some bandages so you get a juice. Yay! Yay! Oh, just better than that. 10, 10 HP! 10 HP, holy moly! Mm. Uh, she'll uh, like look back at her leg and as she realizes that it feels better, she'll like look at him and give him a give him a nice smile. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Theo did. She'll stand up. Feels good. Yeah, it does feel good. In fact, um, in fact, uh, go ahead and make a Constitution saving throw uh, with advantage. Oh, I knew it! Fucking knew it. You eat weird shit, you goblins. Uh, I rolled a uh, soft twenty. Yes. Okay. Right. <laughs> luckily, the, uh, he applied seems to work, and luckily the pain no longer hurts. You're fine. All right, yay! Thank <laughs> you. I'm like, let me know if anything bites you again. I do not expect much more to bite me, but thank you. At this point, uh, Arch, you know, kind of like to test her talk talk because he's like he likes to bully talk talk a little bit, and um, and uh, you know, you see him just kind of like. Don't tell me you're a tree hugger now too. <laughs> I remember the tree. So I'm just kind of like pulling bark off and looking at it, trying to find out if it speaks or magical or anything. Oh, talk like no hug tree. Talk like a fake tree. Oh. Well, you better be careful. That's a lady pocket toss you're looking after, you dirty man. Like what, right? What? <laughs> you just fucking. <laughs> We're just gonna drop the bark. Throws it in there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Here, Binks, go. You go look at that too, man. Boss, 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 where are you going? Uh, shut up. We're gonna go into the cave. Hurry up. He says that. <laughs> he looks back and says, Can we eat? Hey, big tree ogre, get inside the cave. Hey, hey, not yet. I wanna. Uh, kind of rest up before we go in there, you know. Are you kidding me? Time's a ticket. Time's not ticking. We took care of the three orcs. Why don't you two go ahead? Wait one hour. I'll come to yeah. chime in. Punch more and see what they said. We have my best abilities. Just give me like a quick rest. Well, quick. You're telling me that we travel all these hours just to get here, rest, or not even get the prize. When it's just lions on this cave. You're a big, strong man. You can go get it. Of course, but I'm a leader. Exactly. I'll tell people. Theo, then. Get your wallets in there. Now! Tree hugger. Yeah. Uh, this raises a little bit of a question. That's hmm. our full adventure. I've done the cure wound uh, at the very beginning. Right. Then we got. Yeah. Then we yeah. kind of had a. I guess it was a long rest, right? Because really, yeah, we got woke up at midnight and then scampered on. So we've been awake this entire time. So I have not reset any of my spells, right? Mm-hmm. No, yeah, you're right. Okay. Just want to make sure. We need a heckin' nap. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I got one more spell slot. Yeah, one. I, I got my spells. I, 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 I got you. Okay, trips. I'm well, like, it's up to you arch. guys. Um, the sun has already uh, risen. Uh, dawn has already... Uh, dawn has come. But uh, if you guys want to take a short rest, you do yeah. know, Kaylin, that you do have a time limit. Okay. 
uh, only because um, the last thing Takum said to you that at dawn he will come. Oh, like at right now, right now? Yeah, he he will be searching for you at dawn. Okay. Okay, so if you guys, if you guys want to weigh the pros and cons, if you guys can definitely rest now. Um, you do have some time, but uh, you ha- you would have to go through the dungeon quite fast. Okay, she'll uh, look at Theo. Uh, how do you really need rest? Really? I mean, I could keep going, but I, if you just want me at my, you know, uh, t- it's, is there a time that yeah, we have stop to- Stop being a freaking princess, tree hogger. Go in there and swing your sword round. I'd like to see you do something. I'm bleeding! Mm. <laughs> She'll, like, look back at, you know, uh, Takaum will be on his way. Um, we have to move somewhat fast. Um, who is Takaum? Uh, my, um, my other <laughs> You know, that guy. Um, my betrothed. The man, man who captured you. Oh. Okay. He is going to chase you. So like uh, not like Yeah, I've spoken all I know how to speak. <laughs> Betrothed. Uh okay. Yeah. Let's go now. Alright. She will head I'll, towards I'll, the cave. I'll give every I'm gonna give Top Talk, me and or Kaylin, uh They'll both get two darts each. Okay. Or being <laughs> I'm blessed today, boys. Uh, throw it in his little pet or a uh, cube. Uh, do I give one to being Sinarch? You need a blowgun. Uh, but I would. The yeah, you guys need a blowgun to shoot. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, you can't oh. just like have it into them. Um. Yeah, I guess you can. Just not... Yeah, these are like worst case scenario kind of shit. Yeah, I'm yeah. holding on to the wings as well. You you have a blowgun. Oh, I should give it to fucking Kaylin. You're the one with dark. Okay, I give you you give me the the two back. You get three with the dark gun. Okay. This is that's a better plan. <laughs> um, are you gonna do the you're gonna do the anime thing? Where you're like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like you know the anime thing where the girl like, oh no, we shared the same spoon. Oh, <laughs> yes. Blush, no, blush. Make her feel bad. Not me. I'm oh. giving her the spoon. <laughs> okay, so. I'm just kidding. I'm teasing. Crash. <laughs> so indirect kiss you. Kiss you. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Okay. All right. 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 I'm done. <laughs> moving on. We're moving on. No more ooze. So, no more ooze. so I had two darts. Talk Talk has two darts. Kaylin yeah. has three darts. All right. So Talk Talk can use those darts. Um. Uh. You can use your. I like I said before. You can use your um gun for these darts. Yeah. Really shock. I just get no real advantage for it. But yeah. All right. While uh, finally you guys arrive at the entrance of the cave, the light looming in here gives you the cave um, some visibility, but not enough. Um, as you can see, um, into peer into the cave, I at the end of it you just see darkness. Uh, you notice that uh, Arch pushes Theo first, okay. and brings Sim bottom. And waits for Talk Talk to go first. And Kaylin to go first as well. Thanks. He takes the rear. 
Um, so I just want to know the marching order. Can you guys give me like the marching order? So I would say Theos is first. <laughs> this is bad. Yep. But I'm first. All right. So second, do you want to be second, Kaylin, or do you want? I kind of do. Okay. I think yeah. I think I'm gonna be second because um, I'm concerned because it's dark and he's got one working eye. <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> uh, who's gonna be third? You want Binks to be third, or you want Tuck Tuck to be third? Drew, I Tuck Tuck because yeah, Tuck Tuck's a magic user technically, so you know. Third, he, he's a squishy boy. Front and back is not his favorite places. Okay. Bates will go that, and then you will go back. So this is going to be the marching order, okay? Bye. Marching the very back, you know, we are from behind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, this cave is really dark. No? <laughs> <laughs> I rode. Oh. oh. Okay. As you guys enter the cave, um, this part is there's some light, but as you get deeper and deeper into the cave, the light seems to lose visibility, um, lose intensity, and your vision goes dark as it's completely dark in here. Can I try to be careful? I mean, this is really hard for me. Um. And you can see up to this much uh, with the light. What I'd like to do is... Oh, wait. Kaylin can see this. I was going to say... Um... Yeah, I was about to say that. How... So how, like... How good is my eyesight in dark vision? Um, if you were to... You're able to see it as if it's in dim light. Okay. Um... Up to can, 60 feet. Can I put my hand on Theo's shoulder and try and, like... Got guide him? him? Yeah. To the best of my abilities. Okay. Does that mean uh, we're not using any torches? I oh. I would assume not. We don't want to get found, but also people need to see. Uh, so Kayla's yeah, just going to assume that we're not using torches until told otherwise. All right. So well, everyone's going to move at half speed. <laughs> that means you guys have just have to move slower. So, so we're going in blind? Uh, yes. I mean, okay. you, you, did you want to light a torch? What? She's not like a torch, is what she's saying. So if you want to light Yeah, Kaylin, Kaylin is not lighting a torch. But if, if gonna, Theo did uh, want to. I'm going to light a torch. Okay. Because oh. I, I, I want to be like... That means you have no shield. No, I have no shield. I don't have a sword. Okay, you won't have a sword. I'd rather have a shield than a sword. Um, AC, yo. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, but what I'd like to do is, I know this is really hard for me, but um, I'll ask Kaylin, maybe if she can help me be like, uh, can you guide me? Make sure I don't step on spider webs. She'll give him like a solid nod. I will help best I can. All I know is you touch a spider web, but the spider fucking feels that, man. <laughs> so the green, uh, the, outs- the outer circle represents the dim light, and the inner circle represents your bright light, which is okay. the torch dim. Look at Arch, so brave in the darkness. Uh, yeah, but well, Arch is holding on to the base. <laughs> and um, Kaylin is holding on to you. Because your vision is difficult. Because you only can only technically see up to. Yeah, they're ten feet. Yeah. So Maybe. you're still moving slow. Yeah. As you I want to go stealthily. Yeah. So as you're stumbling upon this narrow cave uh, pathway, uh, the formation of this cave seems to be natural. Uh, up until you get to this point, the hollowed out uh, cave looks to be seems it seems to have been worked on uh, quite a bit. For, for quite a bit of long time, as some of the natural rock information and sediments along the cave walls slowly and slowly become more refined. As you get closer to this point right here, I will do more for you. You see a path 
south. Um, and another path that leads east. Or where would you guys like to go? Can I have Caden and we start to look at the ground for like footpath? Like we ideally want to go to. I think Tok Tok said the master is the one that has the artifact, not the mistress. Mm -hmm. Mistress just thinks we're teased. So um, look for like, big footsteps, whichever way they go. Can I see that this? I assume this way is east. Can I see all the way over here that this is a dead end? Um, you don't see it's a dead end. It looks like a dead end. Um, but you see what you see is uh, since it's, you can only see black and white, all you see is just white of like all these webs, um, so mm -hmm. thick that it covers the entire area. Okay, well if I if I'm only seeing like what looks like a sheet of web, I don't want to go that way. Okay. <laughs> no. Uh, so Kaylin will like kind of try and turn Theo down this way. All right. Cool. Uh, do you want to check for tracks still or no? Yes. <laughs> Kaylin. Yes. Okay. Go ahead and make a survival check for me. Don't mind if I do. Oh baby, that's a big number. That's a big number. Twenty-five. You see streak marks on this place in the east, um, and you see uh, quite a bit of footprints here, or footprints, various footprints that kind of stepped over each other a lot. Okay, I'm going the right way. To a point that this these ground is the dirt right around here in this area it seems to be padded with quite a bit of movement. Yeah, well, that could definitely be. Uh, so we're going south. Mm hmm. Watch out for the sun. Do not touch. Watching out for spider webs. As you guys try to watch out for spider webs. South? Actually, as you get down to this hallway, the narrow cave. Um, the natural cave formation slowly becomes more refined and more well kept. As you get closer and closer south, you notice that the walls deal to your left and right looks to be man made concrete. Um, it looks like padded concrete. Uh, so they have built to keep this formation up. The stone below looks like cobblestone, as if they have made this a home of sorts. That doesn't sound the worst. That fucking sounds human. Um, but, uh, Kaylin, you could see, but not Theo, beyond this. Um, God. Actually, Theo, you could see um, down here as well. Um, you just see a beautiful uh, coloration of lights that are, like, speckled. Mm -hmm. um, shining down on what looks to be a an altar. With about four podiums holding up uh, a round uh, altar with a uh, square on top of it, like it's kind of like a so the round platform has a square-like altar, uh, rectangle-like altar on top of it, um, but the square, the round uh, platform is slightly elevated. Okay. Yeah. Round. Thing. Yeah. No, no, no. It's just like this picture. Okay. Um, you see two, uh, you see one, um, Kaylin, you see one statue that looks quite demonic. Mm -hmm. Um, looks like a creature with demon like horns on top of its head, uh, protruding out. Uh, as far as you can tell, that's pretty much it. He doesn't see the artifact building. Uh, he might be this far from the mountain. Mm -hmm. Right. Start to go closer. I'll uh, cry motion to Arch and Beats to be like extra quiet. Yeah, most certainly. Be very persuasive. Oh. They didn't save it. I worked so hard to. No. No, no. One of six. Wee. 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 <laughs> 
Oh, no, no, never mind. I did save it. Hooray. They're so nice. Okay. Um, uh, actually, Kaylin, mm -hmm. uh, you see a hulking creature walking back and forth. And the light, it looks towards the light because it can see it. Um, it's this way. You see it this way. You see where I'm being? Uh, I do not. Well, we will just see it. Oh, cool. Neat. You see a hulking creature the size of, twice the size of an orc, hunch over, um, kind of dragging his metal battle axe to the side. He's... Um... You actually see this with dark vision as well? Uh, yes, you, you two can see it with dark vision, yeah. Okay. I'd like to tighten my grip on Theo's shoulder. <laughs> um, okay. What do you do with the light? Because Theo doesn't see this at all. Um, well, if, if he looks like he can see the light, I'm going to, like, lean, lean up to try and whisper into Theo's ear uh, as mm -hmm. best I can. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, turn light off. Okay. Uh, I tried to explain to Kaylin. He, like, I can't see. Light off. Don't. Light off. I, I can't do any. Uh, I, I put out the torch. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> gonna die here. Win. <laughs> okay. The, uh, the creature that you saw saw the light <laughs> start making its way. Gonna... You hear Arch go, Hey, what's going on in there? Up there. What's the freaking thing? I'm gonna tell him. Uh, because I had been scouting like for West Spiderwebs on the way, so I assume I didn't see any. No. So I'm gonna be like, cling to the wall. Be quiet. Um. Try to stumble along the walls, and they make quite a bit of noise oh when God. you say that. Uh, mm -hmm. I should have just told me to so God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You see this orc getting closer. I yeah? I'm gonna do my best to just, you know. It notice both it notice you uh Theo, do you go to the wall? No, no, I'm just I'm gonna try to close my eyes and hear it coming and swing at a disadvantage you. Okay. Um, what about you, uh talk I was, talking? I was gonna ask. Uh hmm. so Theo is taller than me. I was yes. going to ask if I could. I don't know if I can, but I can see the or the creature fairly well, correct? Fairly well, yes. Uh, I was going to ask if, uh, basically, I could use Theo as a shield, uh, <laughs> but try and shoot the creature. Um, yeah, well, certainly you can try. <laughs> All right. Um, That's why I'm here for. <laughs> well, I got your shield out. Why not use it? Uh, so, yeah, I will like pull out my bow and load it um okay. and then peek around Theo I guess since I can't see over him uh huh uh, and fire okay you hear this you hear the strings of the bow um tense and you read it and it flies and hits this creature roll the hit uh 19 to hit 19 does hit it, actually, yeah. Yes. Feels good, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's nine damage. Nine damage. Okay. It takes the full nine damage. All right. You you pierce its hide, its thick skin. As now you look at this creature, this creature seems to be um, his face wide, and it seems not as smart as like let's say it just looks dumb, right? Mm -hmm. um, as you hit the arrow on its hide, it doesn't seem to affect it, but it's still clutch in pain, like it's still crying pain a little bit. It goes. <laughs> It's mad now. It's so mad. It's gonna start running at you, and every step it takes, it stomps. 
Talk, talk. You have a, a you have a, a, a reaction to do. What do you want him to do? Yeah, I was just thinking about that. So, uh, clearly, I watched Galen shoot an arrow, piss the thing off, and now it's charging us. Uh, I'm gonna quickly look around us. Do I see? I mean, it's dark. Do I see anything that looks like it is a torch, like sitting on a wall or anything like that, or kindling that might be? It's no, none of it. Um, this looks like it's orcs and goblins, so they have dark vision. They don't need light. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Um, what, are they just trying not to get spotted? Okay. Do orcs have uh, dark vision too? Dark vision? I'm sorry, what? Do orcs have dark vision too? Oh, wait, yeah, you just said. Yeah, we are screwed, aren't we? Alright! It's up to you, Top Top. You have the chunk. I know. I swear, like a one thing first. Where are you on? Where are you sending bolts? Yeah. But if I don't kill it, you are screwed. <laughs> Ah. Ooh. Okay. Uh. Nah, that really wouldn't work either. All right, yeah. I'll flame bolt and then. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yep. So, right. human beans around Theo and fires, and then talk yeah, about beans. Are going to just most fair effect. And... Okay. Okay. All right. As you arch a little pellet and it explodes on impact. Roll for me to hit. Yeah, fireballs is a hit. And fireballs plus five. And I rolled a ten, so fifteen. Dead. Ooh. Fifteen. Fifteen actually hits it. Ooh, nice. I was worried about that. I was really worried too. A uh, d10 damage and five. Wait, hey, five. Woo. It does have things on fire though. You take clothes, but you know, maybe. Fireball. Um, okay. it, uh, it doesn't look like it's wearing any clothes. It just wears like a loincloth. It's like um, has like a gigantic uh, like battle axe by it, uh, metal, mind you. Oof. And as you fire this, you do the how many damage again? Five. Okay. And this creature goes <laughs> did not like it as it charge in with great uh speed and anger. Uh it's coming at you quite hard as you notice it kind of made quite a bit of noise and although the noise doesn't seem to bother whatever creatures in this room, but it does bother Archie and Bates. No. Oh, uh, make a save for uh Okay. So um you see Art goes Oi what Triaga, what is that? As he screams that out loud. Makes it what's going on, boss? What's going on? Oh my god. <laughs> um you hear uh Kaylin Kelvin. <laughs> Dude in the dark side, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh you see, uh, all, you hear a sound of orcs going. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Mm. There's a lot of them in here. Uh, is this creature, uh, run rapid? And I want everyone to roll for me a initiative at this point. Yay! What the fuck? <laughs> fuck yes. Okay. So. Go around the table. 25, 20. That's me. Nice. Oh, oh. 23. Oh, shit. Okay. 23. Oh, wait, I gotta roll for the monster. You don't have to. You could just run more for a while. Yeah. Then yeah. we need to turn. Oh, okay. Uh, 20 to 15? No. 
No. <laughs> talk, talk, go. Talk, talk, 15 go. to 10? No. Let me know where you're at the very last of number. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. That means the orcs go. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. No. It's not the orcs. Binks! <laughs> Just to go. Then the orcs. Um, okay, 10 to 5? I'm a 6. Oh, I think you're a 10. Oh, wait. 10 to 5? Yeah. Uh, I got 6. Yeah. So, do you want to go for a steal or a talk talk? The romance. Talk talk. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Talk talk is. Uh, talk talk is long, so if he doesn't talk, Theo, it's me, then I'll Theoden, good. Oh. Thanks. And then, last but not least, Ark. You rolled pretty Arch. bad. Why do you fucking suck? Actually, actually more useful than Arch. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I'll kill Binks last. Okay. These, this uh, uh, large creature finally comes up to Theo, and you have no idea what's going on. You finally see uh, the heavy breathing of a creature and a breath that exhale and uses. Oh, it's a stinky breath. It runs up to you, just <laughs> wailing and swinging as it's running. Uh, Kaylin, it's your turn. Um, yeah, so... Oh, shit, it's not there yet. It's almost... Okay, yeah, cool. Um... No. I... I don't have time um, to spend. <laughs> I'd like to step over here and... scoot back here. <laughs> um... I'd like to whistle to try and get him to come at me because Theo can't see shit. And I'd like uh -huh. to shoot my arrow again. Okay, why don't you make a decision check for me? Okay, let's see. Or performance, up to you. Same thing. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, baby. That's an unnatural 20. Okay, okay, let's see if it falls for it. Let's see if it falls for it. Yeah, it fell for it. Oh, so, yes. Yeah, it's gonna come towards you. Cool. I have yeah. no regrets. <laughs> anyway, I oh boy, I'm oh pretty boy. sure that hits. Let me just do the math real fast. Uh, yeah, that's a twenty-six to hit. Twenty-six hit. Are you? Please that's Die. eight damage. Eight damage. Ooh, this no. one's. We need to get you some sharpshooter, bro. <laughs> you fire another arrow, and it sticks out of the uh, the hide as it plant plants it into its skin of its chest or area. Um, this hulking mass of a creature seems to be um, taking it without feeling the pain, but it's still coming in with ferocious anger. Oh, excellent. You feel like you did damage. It's just this creature is just angry. Does not care about the damage. No, he does not care. Okay. Okay. This one, this one. Uh, next up, it is now your turn, Binks. Binks, freaks the f out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, uh, I take he, it back. There's no one. He can't do anything. I'm so glad I didn't give him that shit. Um, now it is your turn, orcs. No, this, these orcs. This orcs. one. One, two, three. It goes in swinging and wailing. At everybody, uh, it accidentally hits you. It doesn't even know you're there anymore. So it accidentally swing and hits you. Make an athletics. 18. Oh, wait, yeah, this advantage is done. Wait, 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 are you proficient? Yeah. Okay, so it's just 18. I luckily, feel like lightly touch it. Luckily, um, even though it comes, you manage to duck under the swing and not get hit. It finally reaches uh, Kaylin and swings at her. With its gigantic Can I battle axe. Attack of opportunity? Sadly, no. Could I have let it hit me and I hit it? No. Okay. I tried. Um, is also so hit Talk Talk. So, Talk Talk, you go ahead and make me a, uh, um, athletics, uh, check. Are you proficient? Of course not. Oh, well, it's, it's, um, you can see in the dark, so you're fine. Just make me a nap. Is it normal? Roll? Okay. Yeah. Well, that would be a three. A three? <laughs> uh, a three. I get no problem to do it. 
you see it swing so wildly that it caught you on the flat end of the battle axe, flinging you so far oh. this way, and you hit your body against the wall. <laughs> and you land on the ground, dealing you one fall damage. Oh. That's off. Good luck. Talk, talk, no. Talk, talk, you are prone. What? You are. Um, and this will hit you, Kaylin. And it tries. It tries to hit you. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, it hits because it throws a 23. Yeah, that it hits a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Um, and you take. Uh, oh. seven damage. Oh my god, you're spared, Jesus. Whew. Oh god. Okay. This is why I need light, Kaylin. I was trying uh, to listen. You were smart, but talk about the numbers, though. You're okay. You see these two orcs finally come into the battlefield as they one. notice uh, what is going on. Oh my God. They laugh because they know that you just like unleashed their tank, but um, they come in. Their tank? Oh, oh. Uh, these orcs God. looks like they're well trained. Um, so these orcs are going to come in and hit you, Theo. All three of them. Actually, no, this one will go towards uh, uh, Leaks. Yeah. Actually, don't. No, they do not want to go there. Cause the thing is there. Okay, so these three will attack me together. Okay, so how does this work? Do I get to add my shield AC? Do I AC even, even if I don't see them? Yeah, most of them. Okay. Uh, but they get an advantage because you can't see them. Sure. Uh, so the first one is going to roll with advantage. No, no. Oh, um, does a it misses. It misses. Sixteen hit. No, it misses. Oof. Oof. Okay, this one swings with advantage. Oh, a seven. No. Okay, the third one swings with no. advantage. No. Oh, oh, no. No. So I feel like I'll come. Theo, um, actually, Mister rushes in. Um, you to hear the footsteps of three. Uh, Three separate orcs coming at you. One would swing with its large great axe. Although it looks like they have some too, they don't. They have a great axe. Um, it swings. Both of them swings with their great axe. You bash block two blows left and right, pushing the blows far back so that they can't even hit you on their back swing. Except this one. This one finally found a side where you can't see. Well, technically, <laughs> uh, actually, you yeah, could that's see my blind it. eye. No, your blind eye is your right eye. Yeah, so the far right, you said, is the one that... Yeah. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah. No, you can see. Um, I can see that one. Yeah, but one you... That. Yeah, of course it's the one that you can see. But you did not see this one coming, and it hits you <laughs> so hard. You block it, though, but it's just... Your entire arm, it feels like it's been ricocheted. Yeah, I mean, not ricocheted, it's been shattered a bit. Um, oh! Shattered? No, it just feels like oh, the vibration okay. hits so hard that it hurts. I should say. Okay. My words. English. Oh, so <laughs> um, you oh, take. God. You take ten slashing damage. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Yeah, and the vibration is perfect. So you're allowed <clears throat> in pain. <laughs> so, like, it came out of nowhere. All right, Bix is uh, gonna use his whole action to finally he finally see somebody. He goes up and goes ah! and attacks this guy. Good job, B. And misses. Damn it, Bix. Oh, that's a booster. <sighs> it's okay. Now he could be like a extra meat shield. All right, now it is your turn. Uh, talk, talk. What would you like to do? You are now prone. Would you like to get up? Uh, yeah. So okay. I can move anywhere. All right. So you have ten feet of movement. Yeah. But talk, talk will take it off for a second. Mm -hmm. Raise up his uh, little slingshot, magic slingshot thing for firebolt. But mm -hmm. this is a question for Theo. What'd you do with that torch that you put out? I mean, you just put it out with your hand. Would you drop it? Uh, I assume I was trying to be quiet, so I was holding on to it. Glad you put it down. 
Where did it suggest? It would still be, I guess, in my hand. Yep. Because I'm So. Okay. I have not pulled out my sword yet. Uh, Talkhawk's going to try and shoot Firebolt at the torch. Because they can light things that are flammable. Oh, wait. Let me see. Ooh. If yeah. I don't hit by this oh, object. Oh, okay. Yeah, you don't even have to roll for that. You can just hit it. You hit the, um, because you you have dark vision. So you light up the torch with your fireball. Now you have light. I'm not doing any damage, but you know. Hey, helpful. Now the humans can do something. Savior. Oh my god. Leo does uh, not like. Oh, and uh, technically, um, uh, Binks can finally see again. Yeah. Binks sees it and he's like, <laughs> oh god, it was better when he could have seen it. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, well, I- Arch sees this whole thing and he's like, what the? Okay. Um, but, so, you know, uh, nothing's nearby. I don't get an actual opportunity if I slink back that way, right? No, you have 15 feet of movement, not 10. I'm so sorry. You have a nah, fine. Okay, I'll move back to the center. That's okay. All right. <laughs> so, no bonus action? I got nothing to do for bonus action, so nope. Nope. All right, talk, talk. You scurry back to uh, you scurry back to the back lines. Um, now it is your turn, Theo. I'm gonna. Uh, if I drop the torch, it doesn't like turn off, right? Uh, no, but it'll be good for you to see. Really? No. Um, okay. Um, I guess I'm gonna. Oh wait, yeah, shoot. That'll be your action. Really? Okay, can I put the torch, like, behind me? Will that, like, still allow us to see, but it might be, like... Sure. Oh, you know a torch is very, very much at its best when you're held up. I know, but I need to live. Okay, so... <laughs> I need to make it to the ground. See, so... Uh, regardless, I want a bonus action second. Um, okay. And then I guess my action will be. Um, you could drop it, yeah. If you want. Okay. Unless it's light, you can still see the ones in front of you. Or around you, I guess. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm trying to ask. I could still see the ones as yeah. within the five feet of us. Yeah, so I'm going to drop it real fast. And grab my sword. Okay. Am I allowed to attack to you, or...? Yeah, most certainly. You can grab your sword, you pull out your blade, and you can attack. Um, Who do you want to hit? I want to hit, uh, Big King. Okay, roll the hit. Hopefully I can get him off the king so she can be back and shoot you. <laughs> um, soft 20. Soft 20 hits. Oh wait, this is Anna I'm in light. Oh, you are in light. <laughs> <laughs> you sound so disappointed by that. Ah, oh, damn it. You get to live. Uh, 11. 11. Uh, 11 damage? Yes. Ooh, that's quite a bit of damage, sir. Fine. It is still up, though. You slash it, but you do not cut um, its back thigh as deep as you thought. But um, the cut did is deep, deep enough where it's trickling some blood, but this creature is still so angry. It's, it has a vision for Kaylin on this is why I need to act and search. <laughs> okay. So, now be your turn, Theo. Yeah, Arch sure. turn. Arch is freaking out. Of course. He goes, I'm going to stay behind you, little buddy. <laughs> Who only uh, protects your knees. Little buddy that you kick all the time? Oh, uh, he can't even see you. Oh, no, he oh. can't hit him. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes, Vince! Uh, uh, he charges in and attack, and he might trip on the torch. So he's just gonna roll. Oh my athletics. fucking god, are you serious? Oh! <laughs> he steps on the torch as he tries to run in and knocks the torch this way. Hey, but it's a lot, right? Yeah. <laughs> I hate this. I hate these two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna kill myself now. <laughs> He must go. He must go now. So deep cut. Uh, no! So uh, I'm gonna have a torch token. Two is eleven. So I'm here. Oh, no. Wait, hold on. Oh, thank God for a second one. 
There we go. Say Torchia. Go back. And then I'm gonna add a layer of right here. we go. So Theo, you're barely in it, uh, but you can't see your the enemies anymore. Oh, you can barely see the enemies, so disadvantage. Okay. Um, oh, uh, I can still see Tank, right? You can still see the Tank guy, yeah. yeah. Uh, this guy, he, he trips and falls. Let's see if he um, he can get... Oh, wait, no, yeah, he trips and stumbles. Oh, no. Um, he stumbles and misses chance to attack. Uh, uh, he's prone. Wow, Can we can someone throw them to the orcs? Um, these are for you. Yeet. Uh, <laughs> can see it. Uh, now it's your turn, Kaylin. Um. Okay. Action this one. I'm thinking. <laughs> Please like. That's that's the best play, but am I? Kaylin's stubborn. Would she? Pretty stubborn. She's pretty stubborn. I know, I know. Oh, okay, here we go. Um. Eric. <laughs> could I. So he's prone. Yeah. Hmm, I'm trying to think if I can. Sh- yeah, you can shoot any of these guys. You can shoot any of these guys. Any of those guys? Um, did, I'm sorry, did Theo hit one of these guys? No, he hit the tank, right? Yeah. Um, and the tank is too close for me to shoot with my arrow. That would be... Um, be... Yeah, if you shoot any 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 target right now, it would be a disadvantage. Any target? Yeah, because uh, oh, so... you have to... Yeah, yeah okay, okay. Well, if any target's going to be a disadvantage... <laughs> Yep. Here's what, here's what we're gonna do. Will I regret this? Let's find out. Yeah. You have the blue. I mean, you could just stab him with the dart. Hi. I'm going to move back here. Not disengage, so. Yeah, take yeah, your swing. Ready? Yep. Oh, oh it misses. Oh, thank oh, God. Nice. And then I will shoot him. He is. I think he's still technically in disadvantage range, but. Uh. No, you're fine. Okay. Um. So, regular. I will shoot him again with my bow. Okay. You roll back um, with your elvish nimbleness. You just roll back from under his wings. You run backwards and while keeping an eye on this creature. With your amazing speed, and you strike it with your bow. Roll it. Uh, I rolled a eighteen. Eighteen does it? Yeah. That's good. Ah, uh, that's nine damage. Ooh, it's still up. Oh, shit. Uh, the master. Um, it just goes, and you shoot it at its uh jaw. Um, actually, no, at its throat, and it's still hanging in there. And it doesn't even care that so many um, arrows are protruding out of its body. Mm-hmm. It still swings wildly and goes, Water is not speaking, but I'm ready. <laughs> um, no, he's just, he has just very thick hide. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, all right, would that be your turn, Kaylin? That will be my turn. All right, Binks will go in and he goes, mm, and it tries to attack this creature with a uh, straight up roll. And this is. God damn it, Binks. These two. Right. That will be the end of his turn. The orcs, this orc will run in again, run past you, but before he does, he swings wildly here, knocking, trying to knock back Binks. Uh, he can't knock him back because he's prone. This is, the tank is running past us? Yeah, so do you. Do I it, get opportunity? Yeah, uh, you do. You do, you do. <gasps> okay. Um, but. He has to make a uh, uh, check. Oh, um, guy arch. <laughs> okay, uh, Binks actually um, made it. Uh, so he just gets pushed back. Oh, uh, he doesn't even get pushed back. So this one just gonna keep running. Oh, um, hello. Both- <laughs> 
opportunity at um, both you hit Theo. Him. You hit him. Yeah. Okay. Soft. And Binks. Oh, Binks hit. So Binks. Uh, you guys roll for damage. You might be safe. Ten. Ten damage. Ten. All right. Before. Uh, yes. Dad, what do you want to stab it? Uh, I'm gonna lop off his head. And you can. Oh, okay. So I want to cut off his leg. Yeah, okay. You cut off its uh, leg um, as you see it's moving. Um, you, the leg did not fully chop off until Big stabs him in the stomach, thinking that he did the final blow. Of course. And he's like, oh, he did it! I can take on anybody! Good, there's three more over here. <laughs> as this orc stumbles and falls, finally dies. Cool. Yay! We did it, guys! One down. Let's go home. <laughs> We're done here. <laughs> Done. I've actually had that happen to me before. I yeah. was like, that was like the most cautious D and D group I've ever played with in my life. That's great. They're like, oh, we got five gold. Um, I think we're pretty happy. And I'm like, what? Excuse me. <laughs> Just put it between ourselves and yeah. Okay. Um, these forks will then uh, move in closer. Uh, this one will attack you, of course. Uh, so this one is going to try to attack uh, Binks, this one right here. This one's okay. going to attack Arch, and this one's going to attack UCO. So I'm going to roll for Binks. Uh, a 15 hits Binks. Uh, Binks, get cut up. Hey, sorry, bro, I just used my reaction. Uh, yeah, you oh, did. Oh, he did. Um, dealing yeah. Binks. Oh, Get 11 right. damage, but Binks is still up. Holy shit! Um, he is yes. still up, barely. He's like, oh! <laughs> he's like bleeding out because you see like a gash in it on his chest, and he's like, oh. looks like he's never experienced this before. Oh my god. This one will attack Arch on the ground with advantage. It's not oh, like that. Oh! Oh boy! Arch. Oh man. <laughs> still less damage than. Uh, you hear Arch go. Oh, <gasps> he died. And he dies. Oh shit! How does he have to me? <laughs> oh my god! Now we know who the muscle of that operation was. Uh, this one will attack you, Theo, with a damage to the back. Oh no, let me see. Technically, you. Yo, oh, no, you can't see it because it's out of your light. Oh, yeah. Really? Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, look, you're in the light. No, it's not showing me any radius. Yeah, we don't see the green radius right now. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. There we go. Oh, fuck. Ah. <laughs> Just barely. Yeah, so you it's right light. Up. It's in light, so um, yeah, it still gets an advantage. Uh, I'm so cool. oh, oh, baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you will you love to see it. Oh, oh, wow. Theo, you're fighting well. You're you're fending off these uh, orcs with your shield and blade, and you're doing yes. a great job fighting all of them. Wow. Sexy. Okay. <laughs> that will be uh, their turn. Talk talk, it is your turn. <laughs> Woohoo! Alright. Uh, uh, you can see that uh Arch just got killed. His his entire like chest was cleaved open. Oh, oh shit. I can't ruin. That was anything. No, that was that was being being something I saw. Actually, didn't have anything besides the long sword and belt. Oh, okay. The belt's fine, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> the belt's fine. The belt didn't get cut, right? Asking the important questions. Uh huh. Oh no, Arch, no. Yeah. What you gonna do, talk talk? <laughs> <laughs> um. If I take a step forward and kick the torch forward a little bit. Does that count as an action? Nope. Okay. And, <laughs> uh, okay, uh, roll me an athletic. <laughs> oh god, I'm about to put this you thing out. <laughs> you say. You're like, whoop, uh, the air. I'm helping! Mistakes were made. Well, I mean, it's not a one, so that's good. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> you were so quiet, we were so scared. <laughs> uh, it's a seven. <laughs> oh, Easily enough. You managed to kick it, and it barely okay. rolls onto this 
aside. Barely. You know, just cooking it forward so you're getting it across the room. Right. All right. All right. There you go. Some light. Uh, and then... Were any of those three already hurt? I don't remember. No, none of them were hurt. Yeah. You know what? They're probably going to get angry whichever one I try to shoot at. So I'm going to shoot at... This one over here in the corner. How do I ping it? This one? There we go. Yeah. That way, if it does get angry, it has to run by two people to get me. <laughs> it can't. It can't get you. Um, exactly. This, this thing picks up the spy. It can't move through it. It's all that big. Shit. Yeah. That's even better, then. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. What's that look like? Uh, That's an 18, naturally. Which then makes it a 23. Oh. Big dog. Again, you you, uh, you shoot out of your mechanism a tiny pelt that explode this tiny fireball on impact. And as it does, you hear a and you do damage of two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, something it's better than one. one. <laughs> Down. Good job. The, the orc just kind of um, move on the impact in reaction to your impact, uh, the impact of the fireball. He just goes, oh. He looks around to try to find out who did it, but yeah, you're too tiny. Uh-huh. I just shot like between some of his legs. Uh, Theoden, okay, what do you like to do? I am gonna hit. I'm gonna hit the um the. the, the I'm gonna hit the one that pop up is. No, everybody, JK, I want to try to kill that one before it samples my torch. Sure. Um, roll the hit. Oh, Pretty good call, that one. Natural light. That hits. Right. Yeah. Why are you so good at hitting shit? That's 11. 11 damage. It is still up, but you did a big, da- a big, a lot of damage to it. Oof. All right. Damn. The orcs, uh, this orc now looks at you mad. Cool. Yeah. It probably will turn around to attack you. You got its attention. Thank you. Please don't. Um, Arch dies. Uh, Kaylin, now it's your turn. All right. I'm going to um, scoot a little so that he's more in my line of sight. Sure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot that guy with my uh, arrow, with my okay. bow and arrow. <laughs> That's a natural 19. That hits. We're doing it. Yeah. That is 10 damage. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What do you want to sh- What do you want to hit him? Um, is is there a little bit of his neck exposed? Oh, most certainly. Oh, I want to hit him like right in the like right in the side of the neck, like as he's going for Theo, just like stick it in there, like. All right. And just you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I got you. Um, hey, uh, Kaylin, don't forget to mark down your ammunition, okay? Oh yeah, I'm working on it. Cool. You have 20 in the beginning, so. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, it just remembered so. this fight. Sorry. <laughs> um, Theo, you see this orc in front of you hit you so hard, and you block it, luckily. But you, on your blind eye, did not see another one coming from your uh, your right side. As you turn your head, it was too late. You could not pull your shield up fast enough. And it raises its axe up. You hear it go, Plaw! as an arrow hits its neck and it falls onto the ground. Ooh. Spicy. Yeah. Uh, okay. I mutter in Elvish, like a uh, soft like. Bless. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Binks, it is your turn. Binks goes around and, and he goes down to his knees. And uh, yeah, before he goes on his knees, he's like, this is for boss. Oh, and come on, attacks, crit. Uh, come on, crit. Come on, Binks. Yeah. Uh, it hits the orc. <laughs> Woo! We're proud of him. Four. Six. Roll six. Roll six. <laughs> That's the opposite of what we asked. <laughs> uh, it's like you didn't even care, Binks. Wow. Uh, it's almost a sizable amount of damage to him. You see him stab uh, the orc, but the orc dodge away, so only graves his shoulder. All right, uh, now it's the orc turn. This orc uh, looks at him with kind of like disgust, tries to uh, attack him. 
Hey, I might, we might get rid of both of them right now. <laughs> oh, hey, it's him! He's smoking into know. existence. Yeah. Uh, I'm so hyped. <laughs> him. Whoa. Wait. Okay. Dealing him seven damage. But he is still up. Makes, uh, you see him cut another X on his chest and and Biggs falls back with his now white shirt covered in all of this cuts. Um, but he's still up. Okay. All right. Now it is your turn, Talk Talk. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, sorry. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm before. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. this orc will attack me. You feel? Oh, uh, so yeah, it hits. Okay, and dealing you. Oh. oh shit! I'm so glad you didn't crit me. Fifteen damage. Oof! I'm still up. Uh, oh, are you really? All right, nice. I suck in winded earlier. Luckily, yes. um, you this time uh, it hits you in the side, but your armor protects you. But you can feel that your armor is piercing oh. your uh, your ribs, oh. and it hurts. That hurts. That really hurts. All right. I'm alive, just barely, but I'm alive. Oof. Don't like this. Okay, now it's your turn, Talk Talk. All talk. right, so. I was actually really hoping you were going to end up killing that one, so, you know, I'm glad that worked out. So, Talk Talk, <laughs> on the other hand, seeing his bro for life. <laughs> Looking all mangled for a second. Is gonna run up to here. Okay. Yeah. You're, you're get you're small. Yeah. Yeah. You're and small. he's gonna pull out that little bottle of goo that he has, and he's gonna spray Theo a second time <laughs> because he's gonna cast Cure the Light Wounds on him. You mean just Cure Wounds? Okay. Which is my last spell slot, so let's take a look at Fuck Up again. Feels good. Alright, so it's at 1d8 plus 3, it says. Where's my d8? Here it is. Which is 3 plus 3, 6. Alright, 6. Hit points back, so it's something. And that's my yeah. last spell slot for today. Alright. Now, uh, it is your turn, Theo. I'm gonna attack. The, the one that's right in front of me. Okay, go okay. ahead. You don't want to attack this one that's already weak? Um, I guess so. Yeah, I'll attack the weak one. Okay. That's me. But Kaylin has to attack one. Oh, okay, that's fair. So, yeah. I don't want to get in her way. Okay. Why? Another uh -oh. knock. Okay. That hits. Uh, so that's nine damage. Oh, this one's still up. Damn it! Oh, you're like the one that's not injured. Not injured. Okay, yeah, it's still up. That's true. I'm gonna be dying. Dying! Okay. Um, oh, but it looks pretty bean as you uh, you cut um, its hide armor open uh, with your long sword. Yeah. All right. Um, now it is your turn. Arch, Arch is dead. Kaylin. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot the boy. This man. Oh, I'm on the I wrong see it. thing. This man's. With an uh, arrow. Oh. After uh, you after killing this one, Theo has it. Um, you do see Theo get almost bodied by this orc right here. <laughs> oh, like, I I I see that. Okay. Uh, I rolled a fourteen. Oh. Fourteen. Fourteen hits. Oh, thank God! I was so scared. Who do you want to hit again? Do you want to hit uh, this one or the one who's oh. weak, not the one in front of Theo? Okay. Well, oh, how much do I add? I can't remember. That's six damage. Big old six damage. Ooh, it's still up. It's uh, higher. One higher. Oh man. If only you rolled a little bit higher. Oh my god. Way to rub that in. <laughs> Feels bad. Feels okay. Bad. 
you shoot another arrow and it's protruding out of the shoulder of this orc and this orc just looks at you <laughs> he's trying to roar and intimidate you and he noticed that you're an elf and now he's hungry uh -oh. um, he's gonna try to get there that's gonna be quite difficult difficult train over bodies um yeah I'll definitely Spike. Uh, okay. Big you can't go. Uh, now it is your turn, Binks. Binks then sees this opening as he's like too busy roaring. He's going to attack this creature. Oh, oh and miss! Come on, oh. Binks! <laughs> what happened to your, all your epic moments before? And miss. Now that Arthur's dead, yeah. he's gonna drop the ball. Talk, talk. Uh, now it's uh -huh. This orc yeah. will move here. Oh, Opportunity sorry. attack? No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, move here. We'll okay. provoke an attack of opportunity from uh from you, um talk talk, but you do you have any weapons? Uh, just my little fist. I mean oh. he, he does have a dagger, but he wouldn't have that out right now, so uh so you would just punch it. Yeah. You can't cast spells technically on a yeah. spell piece yet. So oh, um, battle caster. Do you want to take this uh, reaction to attack of opportunity hit? I mean, might as well, right? Yeah. A free hit, even if it's just one point of damage. To death. All right, yeah. so yeah. He's going to fist bump this guy's shins. Uh-huh. Uh, with a six, but <laughs> forget what this is. No, plus zero. So, a six. I assume that misses. Yeah. <laughs> um, this yeah. one does not do anything. Did I get off the top of opportunity? 15. Oh, yeah, you do get an attack of opportunity, Theo. You want to take it? Yeah, I, I rolled. Okay, we rolled. <laughs> 19? I've been waiting patiently okay, to keep that... it. <laughs> uh, 10 damage. Okay, by the time it moves this spot, it dies as you, um, it falls over there dead. Yeah. Now we just have one, and it's next to me, but I like it. Look at that. It's almost like it's the perfect tic tac toe I want. Um, okay, uh, this one will attack you, Theo. Okay, it's gonna crit. I'm gonna... Oh, oh! Uh, it rolled a 17 to hit. Nope. Oh! Ooh, Ooh, big boy! Uh, again. And... I no, I shield dash. Like, okay, block. yeah. You just block it with your shield. It's a shield coming in. This guy is really, really, really tired of you having a shield. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do about it. Talk, talk. It is your turn. Kill, talk, talk. Finish him. I got another spell, so yeah. Be like, and fires all six. Right? Okay. And roll the hit. If it stays on the table. Fuck. I need to switch up the dice apparently. Dice all right, I got a five, but plus five is ten. Ten misses, right? Ten misses, Sally. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Yep. Dice kill for this one for the night. All right. <laughs> An arch and hits the wall behind. <laughs> Nothing lights on fire, though. My Aww. dice have been so much nicer this session than last Theo, session. Theo, it is your turn. I'm going to hit him! Uh, I think so. There's a 15 hit him. 15 does hit him. Uh, that is uh, 9 damage. That is just enough to kill it. How do yeah. you hit it? So, yes. I see the little push go. Um, when he dodges that, I want to have been like... Wait, are you rolling at a disadvantage? Why? I'm in the light. Oh yeah, he's in the light. Oh yeah, I forgot. Talk, talk, <laughs> kick it forward. Talk, talk, okay, talk. Yeah, I forgot. Talk talk helped you. That's why. Yeah. All right. Don't yeah. tell the fighter he's there for utility. <laughs> As the lightning, uh, as the firebolt arches and the, or uh, or kind of was for a brief moment distracted by it because he wanted to dodge it. Yeah. Um, you take this quick opportunity to stab right up its uh uh at an angle of its throat. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Laid out as if the orc falls down dead. Okay. Hooray. I'll go pick up the torch. And okay. pick up the torch. Can I retrieve some of my arrows? <laughs> Sadly, all the arrows you fire at him broke. Uh, the other ones. The other ones went into like maps. Yeah, what about no, the little guy? Uh, no, uh, she, she. Oh, yeah, yeah. One. You can retrieve one arrow. Only one? one? Uh, two, two. Two? I'll take it. Better than um, nothing. That's right. Kaylin will make her way over the dead bodies to, uh, Theo. <laughs> uh, 
Um, <laughs> after seeing him get uh, clobbered real good, just gonna look at him. Are you oh, okay? Ah, uh, I like pull the the piece of my armor that's like indented into my side and like try to just pull it off. It's kind of fun. Can't. Oh, it, it can't. I can't get it. Oh, okay. So. I'm like, you see him, like, struggling to get off. It's like, it hurts. I need some help. Yeah. Pull it off. Pull it off. off. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess you would like to try and help him pull his armor off? Yeah, you take his chest plate armor off, and he can finally breathe again. (sighs) Okay. Is it, it, like, bleeding? Is it cut? Is it... Um, yeah, you could see it's, uh, slightly punctured on his rib, but he's okay. Um, but the armor itself seems to be quite indented. Um, if you wear it again, it'd probably hurt. So, am I on the list? Well, you can always ask Tom to help you fix it. Okay. He should have proof. Uh, uh-huh. I, what, what I'm trying to figure out is, um, how's, how's the HP looking, buddy? <laughs> Uh, I'm at 15. I look like a 15 out of 24. <laughs> um, okay. In that case, uh, Kaylin, after, like, looking at his side and, you know, everything, she'll, like, touch his face and cast your wounds. Oh, nice. Whoa. I like this much better than the sticky wound. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is six health points. Do you wanna do you wanna try to mend it? Do you have any tools with you to mend it? Talk stuff? Uh what do I do? Just roll for it? Like what's the rules for that? It's pretty much do you is have it like what, tinkering tools? Or? Do you have tinkering tools? Oh, I do have tinkering tools, yes. Yeah. I definitely have the tools, I'm not sure what to roll for is all. Oh no, you can roll um uh you just roll uh, and add your uh, uh, I would say you can use your best stat and just add your proficiency. Okay. Gee. Yeah. Alright. Because, yeah, he does have Tinker Tools and I think Thieves Tools for some reason. Alright, right. start off with that too. But, right. yeah. So he will go ahead and try and, you know, get down and start fumbling with it a little bit. Oh, 15. But if it's the best one, then it also gets another plus 5. So, a non natural 20. Non natural 20, yes. Uh, you quickly uh, flatten out the uh, indent on the, uh, on his, uh, on the other side of the armor, on the inside of the armor. You didn't do a perfect job, obviously, because uh, you don't have the right tools. But it is or enough, time. It, or time, it is enough for him to it, to continue forward. This should work for now. Uh, as you say that, you look up and you see uh, Kaylin worried uh, as she looks closely at the bruised ribs of Theo. Slowly traces her hand all the way up to his face, closes her eyes, and whispers some incantation. And you feel the light of her uh, necklace glow slightly, imbuing him with some sort of magical property. And his wounds slowly recedes as his bruise uh, become less and less purple. And like you'd see his face, like thinking like it was like last time where he was just like, "Did you boop your head?" kind of thing. And then his eyes would like go kind of in fear. For a little bit, when you realize it's like magic is happening, because magic is bad, and (laughs) but then it feels really good, and he has like a very grateful look on his face. It's like, oh, Kaylin, what, what was that? Magic, magic. (laughs) Oh no. Uh, so look at him, keeping your hand on his face, uh, for probably a little too long. Um, I'm sure will say it's make you feel better. I I feel I feel yeah better. I like examine my rib. I'm like it's gone. It's I I have I knew you would have my back, so I have yours. She'll uh. Like smile and take her hand back, <laughs> uh. and eagerly awaiting for you to really notice them. 
Easy talk. All right. <laughs> Tuck Tuck's like, look what I did. <laughs> uh-huh. like, you know, the where like your eyes are like struggling, like pull away, but I finally pull away from Tuck. Like, oh, uh, Tuck Tuck, thank you. Uh, uh-huh. I pick up the armor. And, Thanks. Uh, and not really like put it back on me. Tuck Tuck's also gonna point at the light. You're welcome. <laughs> Be like, I saved your ass. You be glad. <laughs> <laughs> he is uh, gonna look at Tuck Tuck. You did very, very well, Talk Talk. Talk Talk Hero. Talk Here's Talk. Here's to your Talk Talk a hero again. Uh-huh. Although Talk Talk thinks it's not over. Uh, it's okay, but... <laughs> Sorry. Oh, shit. We forgot about them. <laughs> I'm just having a dumb moment over here. <laughs> No, it's, it's cool. Oh, I didn't, I didn't forget about him. <laughs> it's right in front of bean salad. <laughs> so. wow. um, what would you guys like to do now? Um, did Talk Talk and Binks get hurt in this scuffle? Uh, actually, I was gonna say did Talk Talk did, but for one damage. Oh no! So, yeah, oh, you're fine. <laughs> I don't know how it got so lucky, but yeah, that was the only damage you took. And Binks is... Binks is cutting up. Okay, I'm gonna go over to him and be like, sorry we couldn't save him. Have to, we have to avenge his death tree hugger. Don't worry. We will. We'll find the artifacts. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get rid of them. I'll, I'll, I'll sit him down and just be like, give him the water sack. A different one, the one I got from books. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, let him drink the water as I heal him up with my he drinks the He's like, oh, oh, oh. 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 water. Oh, I didn't try it yet. <laughs> oh, maybe that's the healing water. <laughs> the orcs, the well, some bacon. Or maybe it's not blood. blood. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not blood. It looks like sewer water. You know, like it looks like. <laughs> like oh God. It was. <laughs> Uh, I distract Binks with sewer water. <laughs> it looks like a lake water that's been like. Ew. Like, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gravity I'm water. Just, uh, very dirty water. Sorry, buddy. Uh, I'll. Uh, I'll, like, kind of face him a different way and grab the water sack that I give in. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm doing great. Cool. I'm going to bandage him up real okay. fast. I'm going to spend about, like, five minutes bandaging him up, though. That's fine. Are you sure? Five minutes? I mean, I think we could spare five minutes for to live to the next fight to be a sure. the next pawn. Sure. I I mean, next fight, I might need another meat shield, so. Yeah, sure. so. We'll I'm just letting you know the time. I'm just letting you guys He know. will die. Alright, so, we'll do um, I just want you guys. Six. Also, um, hmm? DM, I forgot what hit hmm? me, but I am missing health points. <laughs> uh, yes, you got hit by the, uh, the tank. Okay, yeah. thank you. So I have nine HP for the site. I binge him up. Okay. Nine HP. Well, and you slightly better. Let me double check this right now. In a second. I'm pretty sure I cannot heal. You can't heal them again. I was, I was gonna say if you're gonna try and heal Kaylin, she is not gonna. She's gonna. She wants to go. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'll go and, like try to heal her and be like, I I have more bandages. We do not have time. You already took time on him. We need to go. Okay. Pack up. Uh, I'm gonna take the mess belt off him. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's about that Kelta's blade. Long sword. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take it. I'll, get, I'll take that nice sword. Man. I'm gonna use it in the next fight. It's not a nice sword. Oh, what is it? It's just a long sword. What was so nice about his stuff? Nothing. Oh. I only describe, uh, um, Binks have the next step. Binks have okay, well, step. Arsh just looks like a. Uh, I'll still yeah. hold on to it. I'll have two swords. So. <laughs> That's fine. Just in case. Just in case one breaks. You know, so, that one's can I ask, what's the marching order now? Um, I mean, it's going to be Dio again. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I think Kaylin would be like, all right, let's go and uh, kind of take lead. But... Take lead? Okay. I'll then... be right behind her so I can give her that nice shield. Uh... Talk, talk. Do you want to be right behind Dio? Mm-hmm. Are you are you sure, Kayla and I? I can take a hit, you know. 
I can take it. Okay. Okay. So, as you guys get closer into the room, in the middle of the room, um, uh, we, I'm gonna just say you guys can see this entire room. Oh. All right. All right. Here we go. This entire room is a large cobblestone layered uh, floor with um, with kind of walls that are uh, cemented. You see uh, three chests up in the northern side of the wall, and in the southern wall you see three more. You see a rack of weapons for the orcs on the uh, northern west northwest wall, mm-hmm. and the southern wall has these beautiful stained glass or uh, red uh, stained glass that emanates these beautiful purple speckled lights all over the altar. What makes it so weird is that even light can be refracted through these stained glass even though you're underground or slightly in the cave or something like that. You can't explain the phenomenon. You see these two um, statues staring ominously towards you guys uh, right by the two, right by the large altar in the middle. You notice the walls are crumbled on the east and west walls of this room, uh, creating a sort of pathway to another room. Mm-hmm. And, you know, what strikes you as odd is a arcane uh, symbol, a circle in the middle. And this arcane symbol, um, I guess the only person that would kind of know this would be you, Talk Talk. Are you proficient with Arcana? Oh, yeah. Uh, Hell yeah. Talk is. Sorry, I was dreaming on something. Uh, not only a gnome, which gives that. Where is it? He's real good at it. Yeah, he's got like a artificial floor, which will add 23% bonus to history text related to magic items, and all chemical objects, or you know, devices. That might be here. As well mm-hmm. as Arcana, which is a proficient and a plus five. So um, your 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 lore won't help you in this scenario, but okay. you will in Arcano. Also have uh, history as well. That makes any difference. Oh yeah. Um, um, uh, let's let's see minutes. the Arcana first, and if you succeed, um, you don't have to worry worry about the history. What did you roll? I'm sorry. Uh, Ten plus oh, that's right, five. So fifteen. Yeah, that's enough. It's a fifteen. Um, although your area's expertise is in sort of like objects and things, yeah. magical nature, uh, this 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 thing um, is kind of it's very common. It is a summoning circle, um, and it's definitely um, part of the school of conjuration. Uh, right now, it's inactive, but it can be activated anytime anyone wants to use it. Uh, the orcs doesn't seem to know how to use it. it. Must have means that somebody here must know something more than uh, the orcs, because orcs obviously have no nature and magic whatsoever. Um, but this magical sigil seems to be in pristine condition, meaning that it has been used before. So it's, I know it's a, what it is, it's a summoning circle, but it's just, I don't know the finer details of it. And uh, it's maybe, maybe not a summoning circle, maybe a teleportation circle. Ah, okay. Okay. But clearly not able to figure out like where it teleports to, just, I know what it's teleporting towards, a teleportation circle. Um, it looks like it's inactive, so that means that um, someone has to teleport to hit this spot, not the other way around. Oh, okay. You can't use okay. this. Yeah, this is like an anchor spot. Yeah, and then also from what you mentioned before, Talk Talk would have also noticed that the walls were, you know, not orc made. It's something else. Definitely orc building. Yeah. So Talk just be like, ah, this here endpoint. People use magic to come here. Ah. And this room, not from them either. Talk to feel like orcs may be here. Not. Or. Broken? Took over? Something else might be here. 
Uh, do you think this is where the master maybe goes? He's large and hairy. I mean, what's large and hairy knows magic? Um, the large human? Mm, no, humans don't know magic. No, the elves do. Not that large, though. So, yeah. Although, not sure if it's magic, though. It could be someone had this place. Large, hairy thing came in and kicked the person out, or locked him up, and took over his place. Well, there are chests and uh, door. Maybe we could find something in the chest. Maybe the artifacts. Yeah, tell me, guys. Tell me what part of the room you want to explore. Um, I guess since they're the closest. Sure. I'll check those first. You want to check those first? Yeah. Uh, you guys can split it up. You guys don't have to check. I'm gonna check them here then. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're not the boss of me. <laughs> You're not I don't know what. We all go to these ones, or I go to these. <laughs> Talk, talk, what about you? Uh, talk, talk, just gonna go and investigate the statues, actually. Okay. Um, uh, oh, the light. Let's go to that one, yeah. Okay. Binks will then go over here. Good Box job, guys. Stay within five weeks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, you notice that uh, this statue right here uh, seems to be a bit odd because they're inside its mouth. You realize that there is a um, some sort of um, casing, a uh, clear case that's uh, has like this uh, like kind of lamp glow red. Ooh. Um, Doctor, I'm gonna try to reach his hand, but then stop yeah. before you do it, and then investigate the mouth for anything first. Okay. <laughs> I'm so glad. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Make an investigation check while uh, Kaylin, um, you go in and try to open the uh, chest, and it opens. Great. Um, inside the chest, you see various uh, um, uh, kind of like uh, bear skins and uh, utilities for uh, these orcs to live uh, to gather. I should say it's various things from armor, hot from hide armor to. Uh, Pouches and such. Okay. At least the middle chest. That's what in the middle chest. Okay. Uh, do you want to check the others? I would like to. Yes. Okay. Um. Uh, uh, don't worry, uh, Drew. I'm. I'm. I'm including the time that you take to investigate. So her should just quickly open. I'm fine. Okay. Uh, she go over to this side. Um. You open it. Oh, next side. Okay. Which. This. You know. Let them right. Um, talk, talk. You investigate the jaw and such, and you notice that the um, statue itself doesn't seem to be sort of like anything trap or anything like that nature. Um, it just looks like a, a holder for an object like this. For the object, in back, right? Yeah, yeah. Quick look, do the usual thing, and then just reach his hand and grab it. Um, you have to climb up a little bit to jump up and get it. Um, you're acrobatic enough to do so. You stick your hand in and you pull it, and it stops right by between its uh, where the teeth is because it's so wide. <laughs> you're still pulling it; it's still stuck in there. Yeah, he's like you, you know, putting his feet against the statue, like kicking off. Well, hanging on to it, not wanting to let go. <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead and make me an athletics. Okay. Oh, 18. Oh, okay. You you kick the jaw and how the, and finally when you press, you actually, your feet accidentally press something in the jaw and the jaw opens slightly, dropping you down to the ground and you finally pull the vial. Nice. Uh, all right, that worked out well. And it's a vial. Model. Uh, so like a, I shouldn't say like it's a round, uh, like it's a spherical bottle. So it has a bottle neck and a sphere, like, like a, like it looks like a potion bottle. Ooh, nice potion. The mana. Yeah. 
Nice. Okay. Yeah, Agar will really sit down on that. <sighs> Tark Tark finds something and just like look over it. Just kind of feeling in his hands while they go through this. Okay, make an Arcana check for me. Ooh, another one. Okay. All right. Well, that's an eighteen. I felt like I should roll that again because I don't know. I rolled it, but it seems weird to get that twice in a row. Let's just. I should have taken the other one. All right. So that's a seven plus five then. <laughs> so. Now what is that? Twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Right. Okay. You look around and you seem to. Uh, I'll come back to you. Uh, <laughs> Kaylin, you open the treasure chest. Mm-hmm. And you see inside of it a uh, various uh, sort of um, potions, um, bottles, and such. They're all full. Ooh. This looks like an armament, armament, like you know, like a, if you were to arm a army of full of morphs, you would probably have all these stuff in here. Um, when uh, she opens the chest, she'll. Um, motion to Theo to come over and look at the chest, too. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely hard to tell. Cause they're, they're, they're not in, like, a unified bottle. They're all in various different bottles with different coloration. Uh, you, one red looks deeper than the other. Uh, one blue looks deeper than the other. Uh, various sorts. But what makes these bottles unique, though, if you want to test out their healing potion, you do have to take a sip. Um, hmm. I'll be like, hey, Tom, Tom, do you know what these are? As you look over at Tom, Tom, <laughs> you see him looking at this mystical potion ball that he had received from the mouth. You finally noticed it. And then all of a sudden, the light from this side of the, uh, that shines through these stained glass diminishes. Oh. <sighs> Doc's in it as well, or is he too engrossed with his bottle? Because that could be a problem. Oh. Yeah, no, no. He he sees it. He knows it. I um, mean, he's, he's not only engrossed in the bottle, he's trying to figure out what's wrong. Um, and then his ears perks up as he hears the sound of light diminishing. Hmm. Uh, uh-uh. What was that? What, uh, what did you do, Doc? Nothing. I do anything. Other than Doc will rub the back of his head a little bit. Uh, well... Talk to found this and that. And the, the, the bottle then points to the mouth. Talk to pull it out. Ooh. Ooh, maybe the other mouth has something. Maybe he's gonna look around to the statue on the other side. Oh, certainly. No. You see this? No, no, go look at it. I'm not gonna run to it. At least I can. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're gonna. So you're. Oh, okay. So you're back. Right Pondering. He's like, ooh, wait, there's maybe something over there. But, you know. He's thinking for a giving other people to maybe talk for a second. Before he does something talk talk like? Uh, what, what, what does that look like? Yeah, hold it. Do you have any idea? Not yet. Okay. Uh, you can figure lots of things out, but it might need time. Okay. This is definitely not time. Can I go to look at this altar thing? Is there like a bowl of water over here? No. In fact, there, uh, you see um, encryption written on the altar if you look closely um but other than that uh, you have to look closely that means you have to climb up to the altar and then look at it all right so you climb up to this altar Mm -hmm. lean over square back over here and you see half of the phrase written in a language you're not familiar with but you kind of are it's elvish Hey. Hey yo. Nice. Uh also it's, Lester. Half of the message is gone. Half message. And you can't make it out unless you read the whole thing. Oh. At least for you. I'm like, Kaylin, there's this elvish over here. Uh she will come over and get up there with uh, with him. Yeah, there we go. She will try to read it. Yeah. Um, it's just written. Uh, what languages do you know? I know common, dwarvish, elven, elvish, and sylvan. Right. Holy shit! So. You know everything. <laughs> All right. It makes you now um, why he thought it was elvish. And he has a hard time reading it. But it's actually not. 
it's written it's with the Elvish script, but it's Sylvan. Written by old druids. Shamans of your tribes. They normally write this. Myth weavers. So you read it. Tit reads. Um it reads the search for a power has ended. We found it. Ta and it stops. Hmm. Yeah, the, the inscription lights up and glows with this red color hue. Um, from the refraction of these stained color glass, stained glass light, right from the stained glass. Does she read that out loud? No, she, she even if she reads out loud, you can't understand it anymore. Yeah, I, I, I would probably, or Caitlin would probably read it out out loud in Sylvan, and then remember the company she's in, uh, and. Uh, do her best to translate it to uh, common. Okay, and as you translate it to common, Theo, talk, talk. What do you guys do? Um, say, talk, talk. Uh-huh. I wait to put it back in so we can see the message. Mark's gonna look at the bottle, look at the mouth, look at the bottle, look at the mouth. Talk, talk has to give it back. He's gonna frown. Exactly. Maybe we'll light up the rest of the message. <laughs> yeah. Can, okay. You can take it when we're done. Oh, that's true. Mm hmm. Alright. So, Taco will try to put the bottle kind of back in the same position or look for where his foot. Like kicked in the mouth area, draw or like have it open, try and do it again. Simple enough, you managed to do so. Um, a uh, purveyor of um, the scientific theory you are, yeah. you find a way to open and close the mouth easily enough. It's right under the chin. A couple times just to watch it open and close, and then finally it's closed. As it closes, you hear the light. You see the light lights up again from the refraction, um, the speckled refraction of the stained glass gl- makes the letters on the altar here glow as the sentence finishes. It says, Tanu Rock, I summon you. Tanu Rock? Is that an, I assume not, but is that some a name I'm familiar with? Oh, I've heard of um, Hmm. Hmm. If you're proficient with history, are you? I am not. Okay. Well, I don't know if she did the name out loud, though. Yeah, um, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Because the only person that would kind of know this would either be uh, Kaylin or Theo, maybe? Or maybe Talk Talk. Okay, who's proficient with history? Talk Talk. Yes. Okay, Talk Talk. Okay, Talk Talk, you just you need to roll a straight roll for me, but the DC is really high. Uh, Kaylin, you have to roll at a disadvantage for me. Hi. Hi. Uh, with that. And. Uh, I rolled a two, so nope. Uh, my, Get about it. my lowest roll was 17. Oh my gosh, yes. I know. <laughs> um, what's a 17? You heard tales when you were a kid growing up amongst the people of your tribe. The shamans would tell these tales the time when this, the druids of each tribe, or you would call them weavers or shamans, of your tribe. There were once, uh, there were once, I think, let me see. Okay, there was once um, a convention, uh, a covenant of uh, druid circles that housed all the seven great shamans 
of your tribe. And afterwards, they would return back home to each tribe and tell the stories of creatures of unknown, spirits of unknown, and stories to teach the people. One of the stories of growing up when you were a kid explained about a man, about a creature seeking us, uh, an orc, I should say, searching for a way to become stronger. An orc that is beyond, that's so knowledgeable the, amongst all its other tribes and ravagers as well, that it was shunned from its own people. Angered by it, so, sought another form of power. A power that they have been coerced to want. And that power gave this orc tremendous strength, making it some sort of a demonic creature, um, no longer its orc brethren. It returned, that orc creature returned back home, not only to slay its brethren, but to slay many, many villages and elves alike. And it's a tale to tell you that jealousy is, can lead you down a terrible path. So when you were a kid, at least. Mm. It's like a fairy tale, basically. Okay. All right, of a, a fairy tale of a demonic creature, like like no. like Krampus. <laughs> Some yeah, it's story. Like a, okay. It's like a Windigo story. It's like okay. you don't want. It's a story to teach you not to be jealous. Okay. Um. Kaylin will read it, and Sylvan the complete sentence with Sylvan, and then she'll translate it into common, and she'll like look at it and like tilt her head, like like thinking about it for a second. Ta Tanu Rock. He's he is uh, uh she's gonna like do the hand motion for like a book. Um like like turning the page of a book. Uh, story Um I heard when I was a child. About he's bad. He's a bad uh, uh, creature. I can't hear you, Taylor. You're like super quiet. <laughs> yeah, uh, I didn't want to say. Definitely oh. really far away from Mike. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. It's oh. off. Oh, a rip? <laughs> We're just hearing you through Eric's mic. Oh. Testing. Hey, there you are. Yeah, I, there you go. Woo, you're back. Okay. I'm like, scary creature like orc? Or, uh, hairy what? creature? I was orc. Was orc. He's. Uh, did he drink water? Special water? She's gonna like tilt her head and look at him like, what the heck are you talking about? <laughs> the goblins said that. Goblins. No, he. Heavy water. He. Became strong. And. I, I do not know how. But he, he killed uh, orc and elf. Um, but it was story. What do the statues look like, by the way? Do they look like a weird orc elf creature? Um, now that you mention it, it does look like a head of an orc, but with horns sticking out of it. Neat. I'll that. That? Uh, well, he, he could look like that. Yeah. And, oh. Hmm. I do not like it here. We should, I guess, beware of any more orcs. I think 
They're trying to become Tan Tanurak. Tanurak. Or Tanurak. With the water. Tanurak could be bus, maybe? No, no, no. I hope Sorry. not. Yeah. Ah. Goblin say water help fix them. But use what she lost for making stronger. Oh. That's what they use. Not water related. The water definitely doubles up. It's okay. Guys, uh, was everyone's passive? <laughs> oh. 16. Uh, 12, unless you mean passive investigation at 15. No, 12. Uh, 12. You notice that uh, Binks kind of found a way to find. We're so tired of those searching me. He's not very, very smart. Uh, he decided to make his way to this, this wall right here. And he says, hey, this is this wall's crumble. Uh, okay. I guess we could go check. Wait, hold on, Beats. We wanted to look at the potions. Beats, come back. Um, he says, okay. And he comes back. As you guys make your way towards the uh Talk Talk, you could take the potion out of there now. Okay. Yeah, Talk Talk. We're gonna get that potion back out. <laughs> Alright. Uh like before, uh, the light diminishes and only this side half speckle. Uh light refracted from the stained glass. And Talk Talk's also doing that and they're going over the chest again. Talk Talk just like uh -huh. opening up the holding, you know, placing it gently in, and he's gonna be like, by the way, might wanna just chuck whatever we need in here. He's gonna hold the cube of holding up. And then we look at later, but not in dark and scary place for these people. Oh. It's... It, will it fit? It's, There's a lot of potions. Uh, open up bigger, the... Bigger on it. He's gonna stick his entire arm in. Oh. What? How did you... You know, Talk never mind. Oh, yeah. After we leave here, Talk Talk explain. Hey, Talk Talk, just write down that you received 15 bottles. Oh, shit. Of, uh, <laughs> we'll research those later. Okay. Magical potions, 15 bottles. What were in the other bins again? There was like um, animal hide. Nothing, nothing. Just furs, more furs. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess we could quickly go look at those ones as we head over to the rubble. Unless Talk Talk wants to go grab the other potion. Oh, that's true. Yeah, Talk's gonna try and go over the other side and get that one out the same way. Hi, right. Talk Talk. As you do so, uh oh, both all the lights diminish. Oof. Revealing something glowing in the middle of the forum, in the middle of the uh, uh, the circular stand. Oh god, cool. It's blue. Oh, it's a blue light. Oh, here. crazy. Just oh. a blue light? Or is it yeah. blue? blue words? Uh, when you look and you lean over, it is written in a language you don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> um, can I assume that I can, like, see the blue light? now sure sure uh i will walk back over and try and read it yeah i go with her <laughs> big sweets yeah i want to be right here okay so um as you look into it um you see that the inscription written in some sort of elvish uh long lost uh over the years you're not too sure what it means, but it says, uh, it said something, um, like it, <clears throat> how do I explain this? Without giving you this hint. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Without giving you too much. Okay. So, all right. It says in Sylvan and you never, you know, it's written in your people's writing. Okay. It says, uh, the circle of spirits. 
circles. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So you can gather that uh, at one point. Um, all the tribes came here. Hmm. So it's just it's just like words on the altar, right? It's not like something. No, no, no. Uh, it's on the circular platform below the altar. Okay, also but it's the- it's not something I could like take. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay. But, uh, oh, like- and uh, some of it has been crossed out as if uh, someone is uh, extremely mad and crossed out some of the words. But you can still read it because you know it doesn't doesn't obtrude to the word at all. Mm. Some someone is upset. Uh... Hmm. Sit down. It, Why? It, some few words have been uh, line uh, crossed. Yeah. Y- yes. Uh, crossed. Hmm. Uh, what it say? It says a uh, circle of spirits. Do you know what that means? I. Little, little idea. It is. I think they used to come here, but I am not sure. They as in. Well, my my people. Your people. It is my people's uh, uh, words. Right, right. Worship Tanarok. No. Uh, I do not know. Does it look like these uh, statues were added at a later point than this altar thing at the bottom? Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Good question, though. <laughs> it's it kind of hard to tell because uh, unless you know stone, it's really difficult. No dwarf. Sorry. No, okay. Oh wait, gnome. I think gnome has a cunning, right? Did they have a cunning? Yeah. You did say you know magic. And... Uh, no, gnomes. Gnome. Have... Uh, I think it's oh. literally called gnome. Yep, gnome cunning. What's it do? Oh, it's Advantage. Self- Intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throw against. Oh. Okay, so no. Nope. The other one is better. Well, not better, but it's different. Not even the nose can tell. But it looks like it's made from the same stone. Oh, That's fine. Why. Yeah. Oh, if it looks similar enough to me, I won't even bother asking. Yeah. Okay. Well, should he we? Have two mm-hmm. four, though. Although that wouldn't be this, would it? The uh, no, you could make a lore check on this. These statues, if you like, yeah, because they are magical. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I was just reading my head. Okay, yeah. So add twice, so that would be from plus five to plus ten. Wow, fuck me. No, 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 uh, twice your proficiency, your proficiency bonus. Yeah, add twice your proficiency bonus to history checks related to magic items. Oh, so, you should see it's a plus two, so that's twice. It's plus four. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I gotcha. I was about to say that is super hot. What the heck? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it will be ridiculously high later on. Like, yeah. But don't forget to add your uh, ability uh, score on top of that as well. All right. So, well, ooh, that's a natural nineteen. And what score am I adding to it? Arcana uh, or yeah. history? Yeah. Well, so five. So last. Okay. So, uh, so it would be a. Seven in total, right? Am I correct? Uh, no, nineteen. So plus five. Don't so you get double? Plus seven. Oh, plus seven. seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So twenty-six. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, the twenty-six you automatically succeed. The DC. Um. So, uh, you can look at these statue, and these statues are are magical in nature, in the sense where um, it is built. 
here after the altar, and it is built to sustain the magical power uh, of the stained glass and the portal. Ooh. So you base you 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 basically and essentially depowered uh, the teleportation. Yeah, the teleportation. Yeah. Hey. You also put two and two together. Oh. Potions that you have within your pocket are what powers these two with different colors. Uh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Chop is definitely gonna make a note, mental note, but doesn't seem to need to say that out loud. Because wouldn't be quite as important right now. I'll okay. just be like, should we go check the other chests uh, over there before we move on? It would not hurt. Yeah. We'll do it fast. Yeah. 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 Open <laughs> you open each chest with greatest ease. Uh, it's not locked at all. Uh, you find a lot of weapons and um, uh, the weapons that are like small, uh, from short swords to axe, hand axes to uh, uh, quivers. Uh, they're all in these chests. Is there uh, a bow? Um, there, there are uh, there are no bows, but there are a bunch of arrows. Oh, can I take some arrows? Uh, can I take some arrows? <laughs> sure. Um, you can't, um, you, you can only have one quiver on yeah, hand. Yeah, she's Yeah, hands you can just take. Can I get my, uh, quiver back to Max? Yeah, most certainly. Feels good. Is there any poison darts? No. Damn. <laughs> I, I want to make sure, uh, I assumed I did this when I grabbed the belt, but did, uh, Arch have any, like, money or anything on this? Of importance, that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, he does. Kind of taken. Yeah, he found ten gold. Up. Look at that. Uh-huh. Okay. Um. Also, um. Uh. Actually, uh, talk talk. You found uh in this uh-huh. on this uh chest right here. You found a, a scroll uh, underneath all of the the shit, and you pull it. It's a spell scroll. Um, you could tell it's a spell scroll, but I don't know if you can cast spell scrolls. Ooh, uh, okay. where would I even find that? Uh, but I'll look into it for you. Okay. Um, yeah. Either way, you wouldn't need it now. Uh, it is a spell scroll of fireball. Woo! <laughs> All right. Uh, hopefully, the yeah, artifice can use that. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they more so put uh, like magic into objects instead of like casting mm-hmm. magic out from their hands. But you never know. If you can use a scroll, it might work. Mm-hmm. Put it inside your little ancient owl. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so I guess we're gonna go. I think I'm pretty sure a ranger can use it. Uh, uh, use this. Cor- no, a ranger can. No, it's divine. No, I asked. So Feels bad. You hyped me yeah. up for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure any spellcaster can use it. It's just that um, if you're not a wizard and you don't know the spell, you then you uh, have a chance of it failing. But mm-hmm. but you need a arcana to cast it, right? Isn't that it? Yeah, you need so to be a spellcaster to cast it. Cast it but... Yeah. But Kaylin has an opportunity. Kaylin has an opportunity. Hey. Caster. So we're gonna. Um, okay. So where do you guys want to go next? Head, head over, over to the rubble, man. Which one? There's two. Oh, Here. I, th- I think this one is the one we're looking at. Sure. Do I it's the one that was mentioned. Yeah. As you guys um, go down this narrow uh, pathway. Um, you climb over the rubble and you see spiderwebs. Um, no spiderwebs. You see in the distance a uh, an orc. Oh. Yeah. That's me. An orc um, gobbling. So this is like a fountain, and on top of it is a um, the first layer of fountain. He climbs up, and the second layer of fountain holds this um, bowl on top of it. And he's like drinking the living hell out of this bowl. He's like putting his head, <sighs> like wipe his uh, some of the liquid from his mouth and continues to drink. Kaylin, yeah. can, uh, can you shoot it? I uh, would like to try and shoot that guy. 
Okay, I roll the hit. And I, with as she shoots, I'm going to be running in to hit him. Because like, I know her arrow's not going to kill him. Right. So, wow, you have no faith in me? It's okay. Same. Talk hawks and shoot between the <laughs> legs. Roll the hit. I was doing math. <laughs> yeah. um, with the vanish, right? Yeah. Uh, that's 22 to hit. 22 to hit hits? For damage. Uh, six damage. Six damage as you hit him. <laughs> he continues to drink it and turns around, and all of a sudden the arrow pops out of his back. And it's really that's close. what I thought. <laughs> I wanna go run up and hit You go up and hit him, and he's like ready to fight. Uh, go ahead and roll a hit. Okay, Theo. That's, that's unfortunate. We believe in you. Don't believe in me. That's only an eleven to hit. Oh. I love this. Is. Yeah. Uh. Uh. You see, Binks go up to hit. Oh. Binks misses. Talk, talk. Oh god. So much pressure. Damn, I'm on fire. Oh shit. That's a seven plus five. So nope. <laughs> Twelve misses. Oh, I got all this. Yeah. Hey, I you hit. <laughs> Jump on top of uh, Theo, knock him down, wrestling with him. Uh, he is—he has no armor, uh, no weapons on this uh, orc, so he's trying to choke Theo out. I'd like uh, to try and shoot him again. Oh no! <laughs> jumps uh, on Theo. Theo, make a athletics or athletics. Uh, athletics yeah. would be a sixteen. So oh, he, he wins. wins. He lands on top of you, and you now grapple. You lost both your sword and your shield. Oh no! I was holding a torch. Oh, That's your torch and fight. your shield. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Oof. And you just... no torch and sword. Shit. Torch and sword. So you see this room have in the middle a large magical fountain, and at the very top of it, on the map, it kind of shows you uh, the top point is the red. Um. The base fountain below is about stands about three feet tall, three feet high, I should say. And in the middle of the room, light is protruding out of it, and you see a demonic-looking creature with its eyes glowing um, with red light towards this bowl. You see two knight statues at the corner of the room. Oh, uh, you see magical crystals glowing. Um, actually, no, it's not glowing. Um, pointing at the pool uh, of uh, liquid. And as he on the right here, he pounced him. There we go. Oh, and you drop your torch. So you have yeah, no torch. That's fine. But it's okay. <laughs> um. Now everyone roll for initiative. Hooray! Yeah. Actually, we'll just use your last initiative. It's easier. All right. Um, yeah. I'm a really shitty one. Yeah, you're really shitty one. <laughs> uh, the or oh, this or all right, so actually it goes in front of Binks. Waste these good rolls now. <laughs> Have fun going first. Okay. No, actually, Kaylin. I was going to say, hey, 23. All right, Kaylin. Kill it. Uh, I would like to shoot him in the face. Okay, roll the hit with your longbow. Oh, right the face. it popped out of my tray, but it was such a good roll. Oh, just so yeah. you know, it's going to be a because it's prone. Oh fuck. Uh oh actually my uh okay. Isn't your modifier to hit like a plus ten or something? It's a no. plus eight, so my lowest was hold on, I have to make sure I counted right. I did, I'm so proud of me. Uh sixteen. Hey hey. Woo. That hits. And then we do seven damage. Seven damage uh, as you finally hit this orc, it goes and die. Woo! Uh, it just like struck his body off of me. <laughs> I pull out the arrow because it's so good. Uh, you pull out the arrow and you broke it. <laughs> <laughs> I shot two arrows. Did both of them break? Uh, no. <laughs> I'd like to go over and collect my one arrow. Yep, you do. <laughs> uh, and uh, I'd like to extend my hand towards Theo to help him up. Most well, certainly. 
graciously take it and stand up and feel a little humiliated. <laughs> As you stand up, you already see Binks drinking out his water. It's like, dude, Binks! I want to say dude, but Binks! <laughs> uh, <laughs> his cut closes, his wound is all gone. Oh. He's healed up. Oh. I go over and inspect this. And he's like, Weird mm. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna hesitantly watch him, like, give him a hot yeah, second. Too. Hop. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He finishes it, and he's okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, if that's the case, then I'm gonna go have a little sip too. Okay. Dopro's gonna grab you and slightly pull you away. Okay. I'm gonna I'm just, ignore you know, it, look at it. <laughs> well, you're gonna be dragging Taka because he's not letting go. Although that's very easy because Taka weighs next to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he barely, uh, he has so many things on his body that he can barely hold it. <laughs> I will, uh, I'll look at it hesitantly first, and, and then, then I'll, on your backside. yeah, and then I'll take a small sip. Oh, you take a small sip? Yeah. The best thing, though. Huh? When you take a small sip, it tastes, um, um, a little bit refined, like a raspberry juice. Oh, wow. Um, but, um, nothing happens because you only took a sip. Uh, okay. You have to, like, you know, I was gonna say, she'll... You get healed? Yeah, <laughs> she'll, she'll drink more. She'll okay. slurp it. She'll slurp it. And, uh, you are fully healed. Shit, man. Hooray! I'm gonna see her wounds fucking close and be like... Hesitantly dip my hand in with, uh, the orc water case like dump out the orcs water and mm -hmm. all right as you dump out the orc water you'll you sweep it up okay great you have one potion of healing nice yay hooray hooray i'm like uh if anyone has extra water skins uh, we could take some to go Doctor's gonna go ahead and fill up one because he wants to take samples of this with him. Alright. You take it. Whoop. Uh, you have one potion of healing. Hooray! Hooray. Healing. Hesitant. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Super quote, sus. Quote unquote. <laughs> I'm real scared that it's being watched by this like weird demon statue glowing on this. But you know. Yeah, me you know. too. But it's good. But look, I'm full HP, so. She's our sure, guinea pig. We'll see what happens through in a couple days. Sucks for Archie could have come to this room. <laughs> Rip. You know, so that's what you so far. So, uh -huh. what would you guys like to do else? Or do you guys want to do anything else in this room? Or? Um, Honestly, no. <laughs> this room's scary. I don't like it. Um, <laughs> well, maybe I'm just gonna take a take... moment to look at it. Because this one's got like the face and then, then like the two knights. Yeah. Yeah, can I go? Uh, easily enough, talk talk. Um, you see the statue, and it resembles a statue before. It looks like uh, some. It's a source of power for uh, for something. Uh, you can only assume since the light is pulling at the uh, bowl. It is an energy symbol. Yeah. Uh, that was a little quicker to get out. At least not for the moment. What about the two statues on the side. Um, these two knight statue doesn't look like it belongs in this area. It looks like it definitely has put in after the thought. I mean, actually, no, sorry. It looks like it belongs in the area, and it says something in Elvish uh, on the emblem. It looks like a, a knight in, 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 in his full glory, dawn in um, heavy armor and a well uh, blade, uh, like a well made blade holding. But it's not like a real blade, it's like a stone but it's, blade. It's an yeah. No, I take that back. It is a real blade. Oh, God. Oh, all right. Not gonna shoot <laughs> <long. laughs> it's a long. Oh, damn. Damn. Come look, come look. What's the say? Because he can't really. Oh, <laughs> Does this at all look familiar to me? Like, knights and elvish do not mix. So, this uh, scene is really weird. Yeah, it does look really weird to you. Knight and elvish don't really mix. It says uh, in elvish to guard and protect the Delian Order. <gasps> I assume I know nothing about this. Uh, <laughs> I like the gas. I know. Do I make. No, I just. No. I but know. the blade looks in pristine condition. I'm gonna. The, um, 
the, the blade. Order? I'm sorry. The Delian Order. Delian uh, I'll order. spell it out for you. D E L I A N. Order. I assume I know nothing of this word. No, no. Yeah, you guys have no idea. And what was the saying around it? It says, to serve and protect. To serve and protect. The Delian Order. I mean, like, apostrophe the Delian Order. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try to take the sword, because it looks real. It's launched. <laughs> no? You can't even pull it up because the hand is up. Oh, it's not good. Can't take that shit out. But it looks so weird. <laughs> Stop on the trick to make sure there's no weapon which is underneath the draw this time. Um, you know that it's magical now that you inspect it. Ooh. Um, there's something that's, uh, you, it's some sort of uh, something magical about it that responds to a uh, magical command. Calvin's uh, gonna look it over a couple times as you kind of tug on the blade too, and he's gonna tug on a little bit of help. It's like, Calvin, I think maybe someone more powerful had to all this set up. I'm not sure. I'll say. I'll read it out loud to serve and protect the Delian Order. That the blade lifts up, the hand lifts up, and the ball. Oh. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know why it says to serve and protect, and it comes out. I'm like, oh, it's in Elvish, so the yeah. only person that can read it. Yeah, yeah, no, I get that. I gra- try to grab the thing before it falls. Yeah, you grab the the, the pommel of the blade before it falls. Pull it up, and it's. Uh, the blade has a, a sort of like a, a blue wrapping around the handle, a golden pommel, and a kind of like a gray-brown uh, sword guard. Oh. Uh, it's a long sword with this beautiful uh, silver blade. Silver blade. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm just gonna put down... Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Oh, I'm gonna be like, hey, Binks. Oh, uh, sorry. Binks goes, yeah. Do you do you want to carry this in remembrance of your friend? And I hold out Arch's uh, sword. That's Binks. Cool. I was just, I did felt bad. I didn't want to leave right here. Okay. So I guess we can look at the other night. Yeah. Is it supposed to be? facing this way unlike the other one or did you place that wrong no it's supposed to be facing okay that's a that's concerning okay. i don't like that thank you i don't like that either cross gotta see what it does though but we'll go over to it i'll stand right in front of it <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna use my meat shield here okay <laughs> oh, um on it uh it does not have a blade but it, there's an emblem that reads in elvish i read it out loud because oh. that did cool things last time. Mm-hmm. In Elvish it reads, uh, To those who are worthy of my gifts, return my blade. I return the blade? <laughs> to this one? Does it look like it's hands? Uh... Yeah, there's no blade. Okay, I'll put the blade in this one. Okay. Eyes? As you put your blade in it, the uh, statue shifts. I'm not gonna have to fight it. And moves. And uh, you see it move to a side, and inside this like hole, you see uh, a pile of gold, and on top of the gold, you see another blade. Oh! I'll hesitantly walk into the room looking for spider webs because I'm hell. Paranoid. <laughs> With my, uh, yeah, I'll go pick up the other blade. This seems. Oh yeah, you pick up blade. You see, uh, oddly enough, it's uh, there's a there's like a weird tiny cat shaped stone. Right 
at the uh, right at the ba- uh, right at the tip of the blade where it uh, oh. was struck down tip. on the pot of gold. That's fucking weird. Okay. It's not attached to the blade at all. Oh, it's not. No. Oh. Can I? Hey, talk, talk. Can you inspect this? I don't know why this is here. Does it look like it? Like totally would not let me fight anyone because it's on there. No. Like, oh well, I'll have them still look at it because yeah. it's weird. Okay. Uh, oh. That's what I do. Yeah, it looks like a shape of face. Uh, this entire zone looks like a. Uh, a face of a cat, but it's so um, cut in in like an angular proportion, and so it looks kind of like robotic a little bit, or a runic, or a hieroglyphic, basically, like a hieroglyphic version of a cat. And you pick it up, and it is complete. It's magical, you know. It is magical by looking at it, and you feel lucky for some reason when you have it on you. It's lucky. What cool? Kind of look it over, you know, being the bouncing a little bit on his hand, even though it's like probably twice his own size. Hmm. No, the stone is uh. The stone is really small. It's you can pocket it. It's the it's, uh it fits your palm of your hand. Oh, I thought the stone was actually part of the stone. Okay, never mind. No, no, no. It was just like on the stone. It was just I mean, right by the sword, basically. Oh. Uh, all right. I, Same page. I describe bad. I describe bad. I was like, it sounded like it was just like covering the tip of the sword. No, no, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. That's kind of what I was getting. <laughs> I was like, why is this pencil cap on here? Yeah. <laughs> so you don't hurt oh. yourself. Yes. So I'm gonna... Your safety for you. The doctor's gonna toss around then to fit easily down the hand. To be like, hmm. Definitely magic. Not sure what does, though. Uh, you actually... Feel... Feel... Oh, what? I'm gonna write it out for you right it now. It feels... Oh. It feels... Oh. It feels what? Talk, talk. Don't leave us hanging. It feels lucky. It's a money nickel. I feel lucky to have an adventuring group like y'all. Oh. <laughs> Me too. Except Theo gets awkward every time because he's like betrothed, betrothed, betrothed. <laughs> <laughs> Rings in um, oh. There we go. Oh, lucky stones. Lucky stone. I fucking love lucky stones. Hey. Oh, dude, sexy. Hey. Lucky boy. Mm-hmm. 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 So, Doctor, does know what this device does or stone does? Yeah, that's what it does. Uh, you also know that you could just instantly count. It's about four thousand worth of gold. Oh, yeah, that fit your 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 bag? Just barely. Holy shit! I think I think it is five. No, I actually no. Um, you put it in this. I think it's the limit is like I think last time we checked it's like fifty thousand gold. It was five hundred pounds for yeah. bag of holding. Yeah, so. for bag of holding, so it's like fifty thousand. Yeah, it's like fifty thousand. <laughs> So it's you said it's four thousand gold. Yeah, powerful. Yep. Yeah. Well, rip you arch. <laughs> he just runs in and start rolling in money. Oh, He's like tossing coin. Hopes and dreams came true before he dies. Yeah, well, you know it's heavy. I'll... You see him start pocketing those yeah. you can hear it. I'm like, hey, beans. You have to yeah. think about it. If you have that in there, orcs can hear you coming. We'll just put it in this bag. And no. We'll go out. <laughs> so you start bagging his thing, and he can only carry like a. Yeah, that's what. Okay. No, okay. Try to warn you. Okay, he opens up his little cute. eyes at him. He's this freaking guy, man. I will help take the time to help move the gold into the the box, Pandora's box. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was gonna ask: Does Kaylin like know what gold is? Probably no. You guys aren't. Say I. I'm. I'm. You understand it. Actually, you really don't understand its value. Yeah, you pretty much don't even know what it is. I'm gonna say. Uh, While they're putting it in there, I'm gonna. Kaylin's gonna look at them. Why? Why are we taking so much time? 
You'll you'll notice like there's he's trying to hide it, but there's like a giddy face on Theo. <laughs> it's like like talk to talk. I, I've never seen this much gold in my entire life. What? Oh, what? Uh, oh, gold? Currency. Currency. What? To give it long uh, buy things. You uh, buy things. Trade. Trade. You no know, trade. I think trade. she knows trade. Yeah. Uh, trade. Yes. Uh, this. I hold up a gold coin. I'm like valuable. It's for trade. Lots of trade. Lots of it's, lots of things for trade. What for is, what? It is just sir. Ah, uh, it's gold. A precious, precious metal. Do you melt it for armor? You can. Or other things. You could trade for items without melting. But why... Why do you... Why do... Who would want? Humans? Blacksmiths. Ah, uh, taverns, Tavern? barbers, ah, uh, pretty much anybody you ever get things from. She just looks so confused at this point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, by the way. <laughs> so. Uh, can we... Uh, I'll be right. Kaylin, this, this much gold makes you a chief to a human. But I, I am chief. Uh, you chief. Of humans. Of humans? Humans have tribe? Bigger, bigger tribes. Oh. He's like two, uh, like his arms, just pick up oh. the talk, and just be like, ah, ah, two, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna help. I, I try so hard to not just be so giddy at all this gold, and I'm gonna. Yeah, put in the, the little bag. Mm -hmm. Alright, so as you guys spend about like 10 minutes doing so, um, you guys scurry back. <laughs> 1,000 gold! <laughs> they left me! Oh, no, 3,900. Uh, that's right. 100 or something? Uh, yeah, being, that's. Things to take 100. Yeah, you're gonna take 100? No, Binks. No, no, Binks. Oh, Binks. Okay. Yeah. I'm not gonna take any. And, I don't get it. Uh, Binks will just keep track of. I mean, not Binks. Uh, uh, Talk Talk will just keep track of how the much. money. Yeah, he'll be the. Uh, You're the treasurer. Because the treasurer. You got the brand. Okay. Dash okay. spends all the money on Moss. Very impressed by Binks going in the fire. Oh yeah, Binks. Binks wants to go front because he, okay, he. I'll he, go next. He he smells the taste of gold now. Gold, and he wants it. He's like, oh, there's more gold to be had here. Like, what the heck? And he'll definitely go. So, as you guys had to decide, uh, it's long and narrow, um, can only fit two by two. Um, and this narrow hallway actually reveals itself, and you only see an ending to it because. Uh, I'm see. in a wall, so I can only spell it. As you guys get closer, uh, I should say, get closer. About here, you hear the yeah. sound of talking, um, chanting. Uh -oh. Ooh, I don't like As that. It all the way, uh, and it exits the entire room, I guess, at this point. Okay, we should, we should start stealthing. Uh, maybe the Banks master rush in. Can I grab his shirt? Oh, okay, you grab his shirt, make a slide of hand. Uh, probably a disadvantage, right? Or no? Uh, no. I believe that's a, that's a nine. That's a nine. This <laughs> is <laughs> how nimble he is. Oh, oh, oh yeah. my god. I, I take that back. No, he's very nimble. So he, he has a five. So, <laughs> oh, um, he uh, runs over and you miss him just barely. Okay. Runs down. Well, he's going to die, so we'll stop now. So we can get his gold. Yeah. Uh, do you guys want to? I want his bullet. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. We're gonna stealth so they think he's only one. <laughs> oh, okay. Grab you a little bit. No, he's and, well, he's kind of behind, but you know, as we're seeing him run off and uh, following, he's also gonna be like, ah, maybe we let Kim go first, peek around the corner, so light doesn't reach door frame. True. Or the dark way, where the hell are they? The dark. Yeah, yeah running around outside. Oh, he's in. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, she'll go and she'll try and peek around the corner and uh, see what she can see. All right, this is what you see, Kaylin. You see an entire room with columns uh, holding up the entire structure above. Mm-hmm. Oh, this place is huge. You see... Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. At the end of this uh, room, an altar dedicated to uh, um, that that has your totems on it. Oh. It's a podium, it's a like a large round altar, and on top of it, it your totem. You oh, see shit. the altar on top, and below it, you see the uh, I believe the Econotypes. No, you see the. Uh, uh yeah the contract so you see the bobcat totem um and you see a broken totem over here (gasps) you see a glowing red portal that swirls in mystical energy uh behind your totem you also see a glowing uh platform uh the a glowing red mark right here that is glowing from the below but you can't make her heads make heads or tails what it says because you're too far um, you also see a, um, a long-eared, uh, dark skin, like almost ebony black, um, with a purple robe, uh, right in front of the totem altar. Dark skin, purple robe. Do you see it now? What was the other description? Yeah. Um... It has like long, it, it, the picture says Balda. It has long, um, like white hair. Mm-hmm. Long white hair. Um, you also see four elves. Uh oh. What? Four. Mm-hmm. Right here behind him, chanting uh, with this individual as they both raises his hand. And to answer to the totem, as if like that he's facing the totem and chanting some sort of prayer. Um, you recognize the chant to be Elvish, uh, Kaelin, but it is so... It's like a different dialect of Elvish, and it's so difficult for you to catch up and pick up. Uh, you can only assume that it's probably one of the other elves, like uh, high elves or wood elves. Mm. Elvish, I mean. Uh, it is uh, an Elvish, you do not know. Uh, actually, both of you guys do know it. It's Elvish. You can understand it. I'm just saying it's a different dialect. So it's okay. a bit hard to kind of convert the two. Um, it's, in fact, the way they say certain things, accent is completely different. Okay. Um, even Kaelin's come from a tribe that uses uh, the Elvish more phonetically than uh, these elves do. So, wood uh, elves uh, doesn't look like uh, one of them has the marking of your tribe. The other seems to do not have markings at all. It looks like they're from various uh, elven tribes or elven race. You notice that Binks run on in. So happy and giddy. I'm not knowing care in the world. Uh huh. And you see them all. You see um, one individual come out of the shadows, oh, revealing oh. themselves. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, it's over here. It, it, it's wearing a white, a long white cape with um, this uh, dark uh, reddish brown hair, long hair, and it has pointy ears as well. With a slender body and two uh, long swords by his side. I mean, sorry, not two um, scimitars by his side. Uh, wearing elven chainmail stops and speaks to him. This individual uh, nod 
and uh, looks like they're talking just fine. As uh-huh. if nothing. Wow. Being stand points to where you guys are. Shit. <laughs> I'd like to Shit. ready my bow. Okay, you have to ready your bow. Somebody's got a arm purse on this mobile. Binks turns around and said, I do want to thank you, Theo. Oh, oh shit. I've been following around that idiot for so long, acting this way. I knew it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> our Lord and Savior, our King, will we love to meet the elves. Thank you for showing me the way. Oh, and, uh, Princess, I hope your tribe will be safe. He makes his way over to the portal. Get your arrow, go! <laughs> I'd like to shoot at him. <laughs> I want to okay. sh- shoot at him. So the shot, okay, I'll say you try to shoot at him right here. Or where, you want to find like a perfect angle? Oh, like, as soon as he says, I hope your child will be safe, I assume he like turns around. Yes. I want to <laughs> hop okay. out and just oh, okay. in a full fucking All right. a blind rage almost and uh-huh. pop a shot at him. Okay, you pop a shot at him. Roll hit. Okay, please. The only shot I need to actually do well. Okay, we like that. Uh, it was a natural 17. Okay. Okay, what's your total? Uh, 25. 25 hits. Yeah! Take that, let me... Okay, big money, no whammies. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. And that is 9 damage. 9 damage. <laughs> He's now limping and running uh, as an arrow sticking out of his shoulder. Can I... Uh take another shot at it. <laughs> I'm like, okay, uh, you fit in a blind rage and you see um, at this point your stealth is now gone. I'm sorry, guys. You can see this coming and try to walk it. You get one more shot. All oh, right. At a, a Binks here? Yeah, go ahead. Let me get another shot. Binks. Four. Four you get fireball cat. You buy four different people. I rolled not great. Uh, oh, no. I rolled a 15. <laughs> Hit. Oh, oh yes. thank God, dude! I I want to shout out to my plus eight right now. <laughs> That's max damage. How do you have a plus eight? I don't know. I kind of wait. What's your proficiency bonus? Um, proficiency with longbow. Oh, okay. Whatever. Two plus. Two I rolled plus. a twelve with damage. Oh no, she has a she has a plus six. Do you have a plus six for your? Uh... No, you have plus five for your decks, right? I I have plus six for my short sword, and then plus oh. eight for my longbow. Okay, whatever. I don't. Know. But I rolled I rolled a twelve damage. A twelve damage? Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Just barely, he's still up. No. Go on here. Okay, so he's about to reach the portal. You have one shot, but if you take this shot. Uh-huh. If you take this shot, the enemies have free reign on you on the jump. What that means you'll roll a disadvantage on your in, uh, on your initiative. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. She do it. I've taken like two shots already. Have I not been able to like run over? Uh, yeah, you can run this time. As you run this point, um, it will leave you wide open as well. Oh, I hit. There's no way I don't hit. I rolled a 24 this time. 24! You hit him as he falls down to the gr- Oh wait, how much for damage do you got? Uh, wait, I'm sorry. Damage doesn't matter. Oh god. That's 7 damage. 7 damage! Is, uh, is, is enough to kill it? Yes, it is enough yes! to kill it. Yes! He falls down to the ground, um... <laughs> Uh, dead with three arrows sticking out of his back. Uh, and now they, everyone's attention, it seems to be, this guy's attention seems to be on you. 
He pulls out his uh, longbow and aims towards you. Talk, talk, you're okay. still behind. Oh, talk, talk, sure as hell ain't going. <laughs> talk, talk's like, hey, bye. <laughs> you're supposed to block other people, yeah. Uh, sure. Oh, so you do it. Man. Uh, can you do protection? If it, if it looks like it's okay. okay. So, pull that. I'll talk. We'll be on the edge and see what's going on. But yeah. Okay. So hit her with advantage. No. I think you know this. No. Uh, I have fifteen. Uh, nine. Right but there's plus. Oh, nineteen. Yes, a nineteen would hit me. Yes. You right. Oh, you right. Oh. Okay. Um, well, I remember how you used to do to us. I always. Okay. You tried. Theo tries to protect you as he pulls up his shield, but this arrow was so precise, it hits you right above the shield, passing the shield and hit you, Kaylin, and you dealing you. Um. Uh, and dealing you 10 damage. Oh. I'm so sorry. Oof. 8 damage. 8 damage. Oh. I was like, shit, plus 5. Ooh. Still scary. And um, before we roll for initiative, that is where we're going to leave off for tonight. No. Oh, man. Oh. Although, actually, God damn, it's like 11.41 time. But... No. 